Wake up! Everybody up! Everybody, I'm awake. We're all awake. Okay. We got. We gotta everybody get, get up. We gotta get through this. Okay. <laughs> Rise and shine. Come on. What did your parent? What did your parents say when they were trying to wake you up? Did they have like a thing? Uh, I. They just like they like wake up. That's usually about it. They do the light out, turn on, walk yeah, out the room. That, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. You know what my dad said? My dad would be rise and shine, son of mine. That's what he would say every fucking morning. Really? Like, Please God. I think my mom did that once. Can a lightning bolt strike somebody inside the house? <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Hello everybody, uh, we are still doing the Loading Ready Run 20th Anniversary Subathon. My name is Adam, if you don't know me, this is Beach. Hello. We have Paul on tech as always. Hello. And if you're new to this, we are going to play a Choose Your Own Adventure book. Yeah. Um, but the we, kind that's are, like, the kind that need, where, you, where you roll dice. Yes. Yeah. These ones you have to roll dice. These are usually the ones that we always do. If you're new to these and you haven't seen us do one, um, there's a couple ground rules that we have to say. Rule number one. No book will ever be Fairy Mound of Dragon Kind. Get that through your thick skulls. Yeah. Okay. I I hate the fact that that's true. Mm -hmm. I wish we could find a better book. Yeah. And if you haven't watched it, you can find it on our YouTube. It is a top to bottom banger. The TTBB. It's, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. Those those catacombs books. I mean, uh, the like gnomes one hundred dragons zero. That's like, fun and weird. Like all that one was pretty good. Yeah. But those, Even, those catacombs books were amazing. There were only four ever made, and we've played all four of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then uh, there was Night of the Living Dead, which did have, what was his name, Abraxas? The, yeah. That was the origin of the vaguely Eastern European. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that one was pretty good for that. The spy one was like, okay, but our character was a moron. Yeah, and a, and a bit of a dick. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that one time you like came out of the shower and then just shot somebody? <laughs> Like, what are you, bang, you had a gun on him for some reason? <laughs> you know, you, go to, you, you take the gun off your naked hip. And... Yeah. So uh, today, and then rule number two, uh, these games are extremely punishing. We will die for mm. literally no, for a 50, we're dying off of coin flips. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of times where we will die and we'll just rewind it back to the previous decision and just keep yeah. going. We're there... trying to beat it in a reasonable amount of time. Because yeah, they're, they're intended for you to like play them over and over again and find like the right path yeah, or whatever. In the back of the car or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I the, and the thing is this time is that normally like I was, because we were doing a lot of these during the pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, I was at home tracking every decision that we made so that we knew when we could roll back, like how, how many pages how many we have to go back to. Have to go? Yeah, and it's like, and I'm not doing that this time. I'm just going to sit here and, nah, we'll and go listen. One, maybe. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, figure it out. Chilling. So if you guys can track that, then by all means do that. <laughs> Well, do some work, yeah. okay? Yeah. Yeah, fing finger on the previous page was the original save scumming. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. So uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, today we are playing Ian Livingston's Freeway Fighter. Um, usually it's Steve Jackson and Ian Livingston, but I think they had some creative differences at some point. And the decided, schism. Yeah, there was a schism in the Choose Your Own Adventure mm -hmm. culture, and they decided, well, I'll show you how to make a book. And Ian Livingston decided to make Mad Max. I don't know what Steve Jackson made, but it was probably something with a skeleton on the cover. <laughs> yeah, that man just loves the spooky fantasy stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, um, we do have to go through a little bit of a character creation because that's what you have to do. It's just rolling some dice. It's nothing right. too complicated. But uh, before we do start, I will read you the back of the book because that will just give you the rundown on this wonderful uh, fantasy world that we're, well, not fantasy, but I guess it's, what has been Mad Max considered sci-fi? I guess, it, it, yeah, sci-fi sci kind of counts, yeah. Mm -hmm. This wonderful sci-fi world we're about to jump into. <clears throat> all right. After a rogue killer virus, a vast barbaric wilderness is all that remains of the world. Survivors like you either live in scattered, fortified towns or roam outside as bandits. Life is lawless and dangerous. Oh. Your mission is to cross the wilderness to the far distant oil refinery in San Anglo and bring vital supplies back to the peaceful town of New Hope. Even in the armed Dodge Interceptor. <laughs> wow. You didn't even fucking try. This is my character, my dad? It's like, yeah, I finally got that Dodge, Dodge Interceptor. Interceptor. <laughs> <laughs> Our car's a Dodge Interceptor. That's so, so good. The thing is, is that, like, the that's not even a real car. Yeah. But also the one on the cover is from the 1950s. Yeah, so whatever. Uh... Even in the armed Dodge Interceptor, you are given. The journey will be wild and perilous. Will you survive? Uh, Freeway Fighter is an, uh, has an extended combat system, a double adventure sheet, and a lot of excitement. All you need is two dice, a pencil, and an eraser. You decide which way to go, which weapons to use, and which dang dangers to risk. Ooh. Yeah. That's right. us. We get to make those decisions. Yeah. 
All right, so we got to roll some stats. Uh, there's usually three stats for everybody. It's skill, stamina, and luck. Um, skill is like our combat stat, which we, when we get in combat with somebody, we just literally roll skill against each other. We roll 2d6, add our skill, and then that's high roll wins. That's Fair. it. Okay. Um, stamina is our hit points, and then luck is like a stat that you use to uh, basically auto-succeed at things. Okay. But that's, oh. it's not like a, I have a high luck, so I just auto succeed. Is it auto succeed? Or do you well, use it up? Re -roll? Oh, yeah, okay. you can use it to help re rolls. And I think sometimes just like stuff happens where it's like if yeah. you've got luck, you can do it. <laughs> so then, yeah, when you try to, that's what it is. You try to test your luck. You have to roll 2d6. If you roll equal to or under your luck, you succeed. Okay. And then if you don't, you fail. If you succeed then you have to lower your luck stat by one so it's not like you have 12 luck and then you just sit okay. there and like test your luck over and over again you right. can use it in combat this is what it is it comes up in story reasons but also you can use it in combat to re-roll a thing like an attack or whatever oh, okay you can test your luck that way that's basically it so now this game also has car combat so yes, that'll be we also fun. have car stats that we will get to yeah our car has uh, some missiles some iron spikes and some oil you know Ooh, we're nice. playing uh what's it what, Spy Hunter? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're playing yeah. Spy Hunter. Oh, I love Spy Hunter. Uh, all right, so skill, we have to roll 1d6 and add 6 to it. So we're going to roll 1d6. We got 3, so we got 9 skill. That's actually not too bad, seems, all seems, things considered. Uh, I mean, right middle of the road there, right? Yeah. And then stamina is 2d6, add 24. That's terrifying. Usually it's, a lot it's like of add 12. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah so you're going to get the shit kicked yeah, out of you. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, there's some, your stamina score is a measure of your physical fitness and constitution. Stamina score will reduce as injuries are sustained. The med kit in your jacket contains 10 packs of medical supplies to help heal wounds. Using the med kit restores four stamina points. You may use the med kit at any time except when engaged in combat. But remember... You have to deduct a pack from your adventure sheet each time you use a med kit. Okay. Remember also that your stamina score may never exceed its initial value. Because there's times where you like wow. gain skill or gain stamina or whatever. Right. You can't ever Jesus. go above your add The add 24 and you also start with 10 med packs. 10 yeah, med yeah. packs that add 4 health. Is, we're, that we're is we're scary. Yeah, yeah, we're getting rumbled. 2d6. Roll high. Oh, 10. Boom. That's pretty good. That is excellent. 34... Actually, by the way, just show off the we can show off the character sheet here. I love I love that the character sheet has both. Uh, you sure mine or you? Can yeah, yeah. Just oh, okay. Sorry. It has both like your fighting area, like your normal stats, and yeah. also the like car, which has like <laughs> missiles and stuff. This big rectangle. Dollars to donuts. Ian Livingston had to fucking draw this thing. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'll draw the car. Yeah. Yes, I don't know, dude. Like, the car would you is just hire, a big, yeah, perfect rectangle. Would right? you hire an artist to do this? Probably not, mm, right? No. You're just like, mm, I think I'll do it. <laughs> Dodge interceptor specification. All right, luck is 1d6 add 6. So 1d6, <laughs> we got 7 luck, baby. Great. All right, that's bad. Um, okay, car specifications. Uh, car has firepower. Uh, roll one die, add six to this number, and enter the total in the firepower box. So, our car has seven firepower. Yeah. Sick. Our dodge interceptor sucks. God, I hope it's fast. Uh, the firepower score is a measure of the car's engine power and the effectiveness of its machine guns. It's not fast. Firepower may increase or decrease during your journey, but may never exceed its initial value. Ooh, it gets fast. We can't ever go above seven. No, it doesn't get fast. <laughs> no, it doesn't. We that can't, is, that can't is, make the car better than it already was this is, at peak. This that is, is my four-cylinder Dodge Interceptor. Yeah, like, that is the like worst father, Interceptor. Like yeah. only at their peak in high school, and the car cannot go any higher than that, right? <laughs> so, sorry, Paul, say again? I, this is the worst Dodge Interceptor you could possibly have. Yes, yeah. it's the slowest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, armor. Roll two dice, add 2D or 2D6. Yeah, this is just HP, right? HP for car. HP for cars. Oh, well, our car's thick. That's why it's so slow. Yeah. Mm. It's the thickest armor. 35 armor. Um, in addition to its machine guns and an unlimited supply of bullets. Yes! <laughs> A ma I knew the game was going to get magical at some point. Mm. <laughs> just, just say 10,000 rounds. Yeah, we're never going to go through 10,000 rounds. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, oh, inside bullets. The car also carries missile weapons, which may be used during combat. 
you have at your disposal four rockets uh, and three canister of iron spikes and two rear mounted oil sprays with one canister of oil each, giving, which may be used when the option is given. Fuel may be acquired during the journey and should be entered in the adrenaline sheet or adventure sheet, sorry, okay, good. in the space provided. Other modifications too and accessories for your car which are acquired during the journey should also be entered on the adventure sheet. Armor may increase or decrease during this adventure as a result of damage or repairs to your interceptor, but may never exceed the initial value. Which is pretty high, so. Yeah. Yeah. So there's combat, there's gonna be hand fighting and shooting and vehicle combat, but they all operate roughly the same way. Again, we're just rolling 2d6, we add our skill. We roll the, whatever the monster is, 2d6, they add, we add their skill to it. Right. Then we roll our 2d6, add our skill to it, we can test our luck if we need to, and then higher roll wins. A tie is a draw, and then you just re-roll. Okay. Uh, if you run so out that's of the engine idling. Yeah. If if you if you have unlimited ammo, if you run out of uh, uh, fuel, can you just like turn your guns backwards and just start? <laughs> <laughs> that's true, actually. Why wouldn't you just take the gun off the car and shoot Jet, everybody? Jetpack joyride <laughs> style. Yeah. I wonder what the, I would love to hear the reasoning for. Uh, the unlimited ammo, like in universe. Yeah, I have. All right, are we ready to go or yeah. what? Twitch chat, Beach. I'm ready. Paul. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Fit news bulletin. Dateline: 21st of July, 2022. Oh, the future! <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Oh no. The far future. The pandemic is almost over. <laughs> If it says that in 2020 is when the virus swept the world, then we have some, like, I'm worried. Oh, yeah, that's true. Right, if it knows that, I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, we had all the warnings. COVID was hard on everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The disaster happened just at a time when the world was beginning to enjoy itself. <laughs> it's coming into its own and learning self The world's just like, wow, I'm really entering my glow-up era. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Ozone's looking thick. Yeah. I mean, you know? I mean, remember what everybody was like, you know, man, 2019, that, that you, sucked. Bring on 2020, man. Yeah. 2020 is going to be so much better. And 2022 shows up, shoots the world with a gun. <laughs> so it's now Mad Max. And we're like, no, please, my iPhone. Like, Give me that. <laughs> no iPhones. No iPhones. <laughs> Just cars. Just cars. With spikes bandits. on the outside. <laughs> And bandits with spikes on the outside. Side. <laughs> okay, uh, nobody could have predicted such a catastrophe. World War Three. Oh <laughs> Jesus! Okay, maybe we're doing we're World, on the beta timeline. <laughs> World War th World War Three had been averted, and the power blocks of East and West were now working towards world peace and unity. Revolutionary farming techniques had all but eradicated hunger, and increased mobility had led to people's greater understanding of one another. <laughs> what does that mean? In increased mobility. Everybody had sweet dodge, dodge chargers. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone started doing yoga and got very flexible, and the mobility increased. Yeah, uh, personal jetpacks. Yeah. The morning of the 21st of July, 2022, had started just like any other. The sun came up. It was going to be a hot day, and the news on the hollow vision was good. A government spokesman proudly announced that solar energy now powered 90% of homes and 70% of the industry. I'm there's, dying. There's no way, oh dude. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Uh, the three-day working week was now the norm. Why is last year so much better? Than what's been going These motherfuckers on. are on a three-day work week? Oh, bro. <laughs> oh. I'm, okay, I'm going to start doing if a three-day If week. the next sentence is President Trump. Yeah. Is <laughs> Could you imagine? King oh, Trump. Yeah. King Trump. Oh, Okay. The three-day work week was now the norm, and England was to play the United States in the soccer finals of the World Cup in Sydney, written by an American. Yeah. This was written by Absolutely, an American. Yeah. Ain't no way America's making the finals no. of the World Cup. I mean, Canada's women, women's team won the Women's World Cup. Yeah. So I, I that's like, something. But. That, that's the part that just completely ruins my uh, immersion. Yeah. Apparently Ian Livingston's really into soccer. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah. That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Fucking America, brother. Fucking Kate Kona, freedom. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna win that World Cup. We're going to Australia. They talk funny, and everyone's so. gonna care somehow. But yeah. Oh, they won at the Olympics. My my bad. Fucking England. We'll scare them off again. <laughs> Fucking defend our homes. <laughs> 
fucking English are coming. <laughs> English are leaving, brother. Get my gun. Get my fucking car with guns. Get my soccer ball. Get my soccer ball. <laughs> fucking kick that motherfucker right through their chest. I mean, apparently uh, the United States getting to the World Cup was literally the start of the apocalypse. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this might actually be. <laughs> However... There were only hours to go before the beginnings of the collapse of civilization. While oh. things really went fucking south. Yeah. Real quick. Too Late. much solar power. Later that, that day, problem. an unknown disease broke out in New York and spread with such devastating speed and fatality that before the government and scientists realized what was happening, half the population was dead. Okay, not COVID, but yeah. wow. The disease spread throughout the world, carried by airplane passengers and <laughs> decimated. Why is it only airplane passengers? Yeah. You rode a fucking airplane in 2022. So you, you fucked us. You all got this yeah. disease. Ain't no disease stop me from living my life, brother. <laughs> you wear a mask. Ain't no way. I'm going to go to England and cheer for my team. Yeah, I'm going to Sydney. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the disease spread through the world, carried by airplane passengers and dec decimated population centers everywhere. All attempts at quarantine were useless. Four days after the outbreak, 85% of the world's population were dead. I can do Hold. some quick math here. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, please Holy do. Holy doodle. Communications, essential services, transport, and administration had broken down completely. There was no one left to try and find the cause of the outbreak. It might have been a mutated virus or some lethal germ unknowingly released from a chemical warfare laboratory. It was mere speculation and nobody really cared, as survival was the top priority. The speed with which civilization fell into ruins was frightening. Most survivors didn't know why they still lived and didn't know how to go on living. Brute force became the law. Riots, looting, destruction, and drunkenness were commonplace. People would even kill for a can of beans. Aw, beans! <laughs> Please! I got a wife and kids! Give me the beans. <laughs> I'm fucking hungry. So, assuming 7 billion people... 15% uh, remaining is just a billion people. Yeah. That's, that's, Damn. yeah. That's the population of and that China or India. Or is the only way millennials will be able to afford housing. Yep. <laughs> we just need a virus to wipe out 85%. Like, even, this, even Thanos' snap only got rid of half 15, the people, yeah, right? Like, he was, like, reasonable. Yeah. I mean, as far as mad tyrants go, exactly, you know, yeah. <laughs> reasonable. Mm. Like, you know, let's hear him speak. No, no, no. Yeah, that, yeah. Like, we should have voted for Thanos, really. Yeah. This, this virus just like, took 85%. Exactly, yeah. We should have just been like, you know, maybe he can kill 50% of us and, and the rest of us can get along okay. Yeah. Uh, my blah, 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 can of beans. Large cities were soon abandoned due to the lack of food and risk of disease. Six months after the disaster, there remained two kinds of people. <laughs> Those who understand binary? Those who don't. Anyway, two kinds of people. Two kinds of people. Those who wanted order again and those who reveled in the disorder. The former grouped themselves into small towns and built defenses around them. Inside, they appointed leaders and began the task of self-sufficiency. These fortress towns became the homes of the military, farmers, doctors, and people concerned with the rebuilding of civilization. The other group lived a wild and brutal existence outside. They were the new barbarians, roaming the land in cycle or car gangs. They terrorized or wiped out any small pockets of civilization they came across. And solar-powered motorcycles? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I, remember, I guess they're probably motorcycle gangs, but I choose to believe they're like just incredibly fit people riding around on regular bicycles. Yeah, like if, if 90 or 90% of like everything in the world had moved on to like solar power, that means that there's probably just electric bikes and electric cars everywhere. Yeah. So it's like nobody should be fighting over fuel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with a shotgun. The, ah! the, the spandex marauders. He shoots a shotgun and he gets shot backwards yeah. about eight feet. Tips over. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bang. Bang. Just... <laughs> Uh, okay, you are one of the lucky survivors living in a fortress town, which has been named New Hope. You were working on the design of an early warming system or early warning system, sorry, to protect the town. When you hear a knock at your door, it is two members of the town council, and they look very excited. We found a magical car. <laughs> Please, we found a magical Dodge Interceptor. <laughs> They tell you that their radio has just picked up a message from a fortified oil refinery near San Anglo in the south. The people there are willing to exchange 10,000 liters of petrol for grain and seeds to improve their food production. The inhabitants of New Hope could certainly use the petrol for generators and agricultural machinery. Okay, hold up. You're sending, 
you're going to send one person yep. to get 10,000 liters of petrol. And you need to spread so many seeds. Like, how many... How are we transporting all this? I, I guess in the back of the interceptor, like in the trunk. <laughs> in the trunk, yeah. yeah. That's it's a big you pile a bunch of compost in the back seat. <laughs> Indication that I'm pretty sure Ian Livingston is actually uh, is from the UK. Oh really? Uh, Maybe he wanted. I mean, then he wanted England to have an easy win. Yeah, that he would never be say it. like Germany or Italy or exactly. like you know yeah, what I mean. Argentina, like, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ten thousand. Blah blah blah. Oh, being offered 10,000 liters of this rare commodity is too good an opportunity to miss, especially as there are surplus stocks of grain and seed. The council have agreed to the deal and are looking now looking for somebody to undertake the journey to send Anglo to deliver the sacks and drive the petrol tanker back to New Hope. It will be a long and dangerous journey through lawless country. The two men tell you that they think you are the best trained person to undertake such a mission and ask if you would like to volunteer. <clears throat> They tell you that a Dodge Interceptor, Interceptor will be prepared for the journey. It will be fitted with machine guns, radio, roof-mounted rocket launcher, ram bars, loudspeaker, and various defenses, Ooh. including rear oil spray, uh, tire shredding spikes. They spelt tire with a Y. He's definitely from the UK. Yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> armor plating. Oh, they also spell armor O-U. Mm. God bless. Like, like in this book. Yeah. yeah. Love being part of the Commonwealth, baby. Give me extra U's all day. <laughs> Color, armor. <laughs> Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Uh, and bulletproof windows. Okay. Uh, you do not need convincing as the benefit of New Hope will be enormous. Your benefit to New Hope will be enormous. It would be great if, if you know, this is a, this is a choose your event. It would be great if there was a thing there, but like, if you want to continue, there. Otherwise, like, turn to page 400, which is just like, nah. nothing happens. Yeah. The end. Yeah. <laughs> and you continue to work in this early warning device, and it comes up pretty good. <laughs> uh, this pioneer journey might be the start of the, link, of the link between the new societies trying to bring about civilization, if you succeed. You tell them that you will do the job and begin your preparations immediately. Over the next two days, you supervise the modifications to the interceptor. When it is finally ready, it looks like a battle car. You check it one last time to ensure that the weapons work and that all your equipment has been packed away in the various compartments. You run through the checklist, map, flashlight, med kit, compass, food, water, full fuel canister, two spare wheels, flat you fix, instant puncture, puncture repair. Good, yeah, that's nice. Yep. And tools. Finally, you put, okay, like, you know what's funny to me, mm. actually, the funniest thing about this whole intro? I feel like in the dystopian future where everyone's in Mad Max cars and everything else, they would not name it Flat You Fix. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> no. no, it would just be like, I don't know, it's fucking tight. They wouldn't name it anything. They There's would, no brand names I mean, anymore. Yeah, it's just, it's like you do have the tire slime. Yeah. Yeah, cause, or the tire goo Call or something, right? Fucking gripper or something you know what yeah, i mean yeah. like they would just have a name a nickname for it that's yeah the there would be like a company intro. selling those things mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. um finally you put on the shoulder holster for your revolver okay go to brother nice and leather jacket yeah <laughs> let's go in case you get shot yeah <laughs> which carries your bullets and knife oh yeah do i have unlimited bullets too it doesn't Ooh. say. It doesn't say. I would okay. assume so. All right. That's good, yeah. Do you have unlimited knives? Is it the solar-powered gun? Yeah. Is the knife solar-powered? <laughs> Satisfied that you are ready, you climb into the driver's seat. Peering through the narrow steel slit that is now your windscreen, you see the town's population gathered to wave you goodbye. You start up the engine of the interceptor and crawl forward to the gates leading to the outside world. It is over a year since you last ventured beyond the walls of New Hope, and you are excited at the prospect of what you will find. Yeah. You are, would not it, be fucking excited. No. Is your trunk like full of grain and stuff? Yeah. Also, yeah. like they didn't mention that, but no. you, you're you supposed to be the giving seeds. them a bunch of stuff yeah. too. Seeds and grains. Yeah, just put it in the trunk, baby. Mm -hmm. We're yeah, gonna fit. We'll, we'll get there and it'll be like <laughs> awesome, and like sprinkle it on their bagel and toast it, and be like nice. <laughs> nice. You're supposed Look, to plant those. Love grains. <laughs> Dude, I like the idea that they put so much grains that the trunk is like up and they've got like the fucking rubber band, like the hooks. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Hold it in place. Just, the suspension's just fucking shot. Like the back, back of the car's just... Back of the car's just <laughs> they're, they're like, we know you're on this important uh, mission, but could you also just like take this couch... How? Yeah, and drop it off. Up. He's driving like Mr. Bean in that one episode, <laughs> just standing on top of the car. Also, 
10,000 liters of petrol yes. weighs how much? I don't know. Like we, no, no, have to, we have to come back dragging like a fuel tanker behind no, us. No, no, said, it said you're going to be driving a fuel tanker. Yeah, we have a fuel oh, tanker okay. we're driving back. But then we have to... Ch- so, hold up. we got to make this whole perilous journey with the seeds in our cool battle car. Yeah. And then, when we finally get there, we have to turn in our cool battle car. Yeah. Make trip back in a slow oil tanker with no guns. Yep. Just, just kind of trundling along yeah. the the apocalypse. Yeah, I mean, this no. is literally the plot of like Mad Max, right? Yes. Yeah. Fury Road's like this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You ready to go? We're we've sufficiently world building. Okay. Which car is ours? Is it the one on the front of the, or the cover? <laughs> <laughs> or the or the Bricklin? <laughs> Dude, that is not our car. Oh Look at the car God. on the cover. It's just like a. I mean, the car on the cover has like a turret that like somebody else is standing in so presumably yeah. that's not our car yeah clearly two different uh, oh or or this was not this book wasn't published in the uk this was published in the us and so whoever did the art for the uk version did a completely different cover i mean there is that that it's always amusing when also, people who do the cover art clearly that's have our not car. there's no way there's any trunk space no in a car like exactly this, right? yeah isn't the trunk in the front Usually, with yeah, because that's like a mid-engine this? car. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. would the trunk be right here? Yeah, you know, where the in, the air intake, the fake air intake they put on the hood of the goddamn car. And all right, all right, okay, yeah. let's let's play a game. Yeah. <laughs> we made Beach upset. We shouldn't have picked the car book. We shouldn't have picked the car book. You know that meme of the monkey when you look at side eye? That's gonna be me looking at Beach whenever they bring up a wrong car fact. Like, like, nope. <laughs> is he gonna fucking lose it? I don't know. Yeah, this is this is not like your. Uh, oh, great. I'm going <coughs> to carry, you know, hundreds of pounds of grain and seeds with me by yeah. car. Okay. Yeah, this is for the cannonball run. <sighs> I'm pretty sure Princess Auto would exist in the post-apocalyptic cu- it future, though. absolutely would, yeah. It'd be the only thing left. <laughs> yeah. All right. Still, still honored that guarantee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the first thing to strike you as you cruise along the, the road is the speed with which everything has fallen into decay. You hadn't realized how much maintenance was needed to support a civilization. You know. Yeah, no shit. It's like, oh. What do you mean? What, the garbage doesn't pick up itself? Yeah, Christ. I mean, like, why isn't the food just growing in the middle of the city? <laughs> it's like, I'm going to go to McDonald's. Oh, like, yeah. Wait. There's no McDonald's? <laughs> what do you mean? It doesn't I mean, just... I mean, there is, but there's a bunch of squirrels living in it now. Yeah. Mm. They can't cook for shit. And the squirrels are covered are leather jackets. They got a bunch of spikes all over them. They got guns. <laughs> you're like, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah. uh, all around, buildings are falling into ruin. Abandoned cars litter the roads in rusted disarray. Grass and weeds have grown rampant everywhere with nobody to hold them back. And packs of dogs and other wild animals roam freely. You stop at a small town some 15 kilometers. Kilometers. I'm liking the kilometers. Yeah, yeah this is good. <laughs> From New Hope and switch off your engine. 15 kilometers is barely anything. Yeah, he I've like, driven for like five minutes. And then I thought I'd get out of the car and I don't know, take a look around, have a leak, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like, woo! Like, woo, man. Long trip. <laughs> yeah, I got a stretch. <laughs> Jesus. It's cramped in there. Suddenly, it is deathly silent apart from the eerie howl of a dog somewhere down the street. You were tempted to get out of your car to explore, but realize that this is an unnecessary task or risk. (laughs) So that's an unnecessary paragraph. Yeah. (laughs) You're about to start your engine again when suddenly the sound of a shotgun breaks the silence. If you wish to get out of the car to investigate, turn to 126. If you'd rather drive out of the town, turn to 34. You wish to get shot by the shotgun. Well, I don't know about you, but I feel like getting shot, brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Let's go to 126. If you go investigate every shotgun blast, then this is... It's going to feel like Overland. I gotta play more of that game. That's a great game. You're in a bulletproof car, though. Shut up. <laughs> Look, I make the decisions. Yeah, but you just have to live with them. Shotguns don't shoot bullets. Yeah, that's true. That's the problem. Oh yeah, <laughs> they shoot squirrels <laughs> in leather jackets. <laughs> you run across the road and press yourself against the wall of the building, half expecting another shot to ring out. Your heart beats fast as you creep forward slowly to the corner of the building and look around. There is nobody in sight down the narrow street. You take one step around the corner, and then a voice shouts out, Okay, that's far enough. (laughs) One more step, and you'll be full of holes. Where are you from? 
If you reply that you are from New Hope, turn to 274. If you reply that you are a lone road warrior, <laughs> living nowhere in particular, turn to 155. My name is Maxwell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a lone road warrior. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, the next time I hope, man, if I'm ever just out <coughs> in public somewhere, mm -hmm. who are you? Where are you from? I am a lone road warrior. <laughs> As a side note, I love, like, this is in all the fighting fantasy books. These They've got these little, like, bits of clip art yeah. that they yeah. use to, like, fill space and separate things. Uh, I do love just, like, gun with a chain, like, yeah. near it's it. Just, like, a chain around it. It's like a chain gun. Well, it's time to tell them we're... I mean, we're 15 kilometers outside of New Hope. There's no yeah. way this person... I'm going to tell them. You could but probably... We... Like, you could see the town from yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I'm from there. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> just... Ted, we your neighbors. We're neighbors, Ted. <laughs> just put down the shotgun, you know. Our kids go to the same it's school. Cool. Jesus. Uh, Why are you doing this 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 southern accent? Remember, yeah, fuck. <laughs> remember the time I fixed your toilet? <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, uh, I'll just tell one from New Hope. That's got to be the one. I'm trying to think, because yeah. like when you do these fighting fantasy books, you have to think like the author thinks. Yeah. And usually you have to think like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> or you just have to make no sense. Right, yeah. That is yeah, the yeah, way yeah, to yeah. play, like... I feel like Nothing there's two things that can go wrong. We tell him from a new hope, he's a he's been kicked out of New Hope Ooh. and he'll try to rob us. Right. If we tell him and then that's the bad one, but also it could work out the good way. Or we tell him we're a lone warrior, he's like, I don't mm. appreciate your kind of fucking stay out of my dilapidated ruins and yeah. he shoots me. Or he's like, Well, at least you're not from New Hope and uh, it helps us out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those people that I, kick me out. I mean, this is like when we were doing Gloomhaven, right? It's like you can try to logic your way through it, but it's just a 50-50 chance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to 274. Great. I'll tell him I'm from New Haven. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Okay. A man suddenly appears out of a doorway and walks towards you with his shotgun pointed at you. He looks at you e sternly and says, That's where I'm heading. Been cycling for over a week since my station wagon was ambushed. <laughs> the fucking wood panels on the side. Just yeah. my station wagon, my fucking chariot to get through this dystopian future is a station wagon. It's probably like he was like, it's safe because it doesn't have any electronics on the inside. Yeah. It still uses points. I ain't driving no car, no liberal would drive. <laughs> <laughs> This is America's car. I uh, like it. Yeah. It's Ford Country Squire. Uh, been cycling for over a week since my station wagon was ambushed. And, oh, and my wife and son were killed. Oh. Stopped here to get some uh, cans of food from the supermarket back there when some crazy dogs attacked me. Shot one of them and the others ran off. My name's Johnson. Pleased to meet you. He puts down a shotgun and extends his hand for you to shake. He tells you that he is a builder by trade and asks how much further it is to New Hope. <laughs> See the glow? Yes. Right there. 15 clicks, dude. <laughs> and whether he is likely to be let in. You reply that it is only another 15 kilometers and his chances are good. They need skilled people. You also tell him about your mission and he warns you not to stop at Joe's Garage, which is about 8 kilometers out of Ooh, town. okay. They ain't got no petrol. They just rob people who stop there. <laughs> Oh, that's information. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Also, definitely tell their English because the English writer, because they call it petrol. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, even we United don't call States, it petrol. Yeah. yeah, gas, gasoline, gasoline. <laughs> Soon, my dog of war. Soon, we go, we kill. <laughs> Can we just watch Mad Max? Or yeah, like, just do that for the next four hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a uh, public domain, right? Mm -hmm, yep. Yeah. Been out long enough. You thank Johnson for the advice, wish him luck, and walk back to your interceptor. Its powerful engine roars to life. Yeah, and your giant penis emerges. <laughs> <laughs> like, its powerful engine. <laughs> With the hope of humanity on its back. Yeah. Its powerful engine rolls to life when you turn the ignition key and you screech off once again, turn to 34. I would hypermile this shit. Like, we only have so much gas, right? Yeah, like, yeah. wouldn't just hit the, hit the gas. It's just fucking... <laughs> it's like, yeah. Did it say how long a trip it is? Nope. Yeah, could could be 30 minutes, could be 30 hours. Fuck, what if it's 100 kilometers and yeah. they're like, that's real far. Yeah. 
he might cloners. get shot a lot he on might the get shot. Don't stop at Joe's garage. The only danger <laughs> spot is Joe. It's like New Hope, Joe's garage, fucking other The promised land, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, don't. Whatever you do, do not stop at Joe. That's the only thing you have to do. You just drive around it. <laughs> I drove through Joe's garage. I'm sorry, guys. You oh. motherfucker. <laughs> shot the car so much. I stopped to see how much they were going to shoot the car. Uh, uh, what did I say? 34? 34. I hope so. I mean, I actually don't have a, oh. don't have a firm idea. Hey, wait. But why did we go to Joe's Garage? Yeah. 34, Paul? Uh, already. There's a picture. You got to see it. <laughs> nice. Joe's Garage. We are open. It's weird that they wrote the we are open in blood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of scares people off, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Fuck. What kind of blood is that? Kidding. I'm getting mixed service, uh, mixed messages. The squirrels from the McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> we fucking shot their asses. We're sick of them. So no, nobody has nobody has markers anymore. They have to use other stuff like yeah. squirrel blood. Squirrel blood. You are soon out of town, zigzagging around wrecked cars and fallen trees along the road. Further ahead, you can see the road joins the main highway south. There's a small filling station at the junction named Joe's Garage. You stop as you are intrigued. By <laughs> he just told us not to stop. You stop because you're like, ah, oh, I, I have a memory of a goldfish. We <laughs> do. Our character is a moron. <laughs> Holy shit, a garage. <laughs> pulls over. Joe's garage. I remember that. Somebody told me, I think, that it was a good place. Yeah, yeah something interesting about that place that really stuck in my memory. What was it again? What did Johnson say again? I can't remember. <laughs> the flash is back. You should go to Joe's garage. It's great. Mm -hmm. They're fucking hot chicks and guns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you stop as you are intrigued by the hot rod parked around the side, looking clean and in running condition. A young girl suddenly comes out of the office wearing a t-shirt and blue jeans. She smiles and says, hi, can I help you? If you wish to talk to her, turn to 302. If you'd rather drive up on the highway, turn to 167. I'm not even going to fuck around with it because we're going to get robbed. That's fair, yeah. Going one, I'm just like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, anytime a female talks to me... Uh, uh, <laughs> I hit the gas and I just careen out of control. Yeah. I drive off a cliff. Hit, hit one of the hit one of the pillars and knock the knock the overhead canopy down to the gas station. <laughs> it blows up as we, as we peel off. It's like oh, I bet that looked real cool. One sixty seven. She probably thinks I'm really cool now. She's on fire. Joe told me I'm gonna get fucking robbed. How can I help you? It's like I'm here to get robbed. Yes, yeah, sorry, ma'am. I'm gay and on a mission. <laughs> 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 Wearing sunglasses. Oh, man. Yeah, that's bait. Uh, one, six, seven, despite the hazard of having to avoid abandoned cars, the highway is wide enough for you to gather plenty of speed. It's exciting to drive so freely without fear of being hauled in by the police for violating some traffic regu regulation or other. And this must have like just happened. Yeah. Except they're like, oh, the cars are all sitting outside and they're rusting. And I'm kind of like... It don't take like I mean maybe in Victoria, but it doesn't take like three years to rust your car. No, it'll right? be a while. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you smile as your speed reaches 190 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Bro, 190, and we're swerving. <laughs> we're fucking dead. We cut eight lanes of highway. There's a right? no way we're making 190. <laughs> What's the fastest you've ever driven? Oh, like a hundred. Yeah, fuck. And you were like, "Holy fuck, yeah. I'm gonna die." Yeah. And this motherfucker's like, "What night? Whoop whoop. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> whoop whoop. Where my juggalos at? Whoop whoop." And he's just fucking screaming. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's got Limp Biscuit on the radio. And he's he's like, like, "Yeah." But he's just doing like you smile is like, you know, just yeah. a, This shit's good. Fuck, I love driving good. fast. Going so fast. Oh. I wonder if I should go take care of that. I'll go take care of that. Okay. Oh, it is being taken care of. <clears throat> but your joy <coughs> is short-lived. You, uh, your, your joy is short-lived. You suddenly see a red Chevrolet heavily reinforced with steel plating coming straight towards you. Somebody is sitting in a small turret on the roof, <clears throat> a machine gunner. You think to yourself that maybe having to deal with the police in the old days wasn't so bad <laughs> compared to with what is coming at you now. <clears throat> A red Chevrolet. Yeah. <laughs> you breathe in deeply and get ready to press the machine gun fire button. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> this Jesus. Great. Who wrote this garbage? <laughs> this is just like straight up fight. There's no 
Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Just fighting just... a red Chevrolet. It's got an eight firepower and fifteen armor. We have seven fire firepower and thirty-five armor. Okay. So what we do is the red Chevrolet gets to attack first. You'd yeah. think that we'd only get to attack each other once. Right. Because and I'm assuming it's going the other car direct. is matching our speed. So two <laughs> cars going 190 kilometers an hour, we'll just go, <laughs> and then yeah. that's it. It's yeah. like, I don't know. Like, what are you going to do? Stop? you got to yeah. stop for like fucking... Right, because it's like, oh, I'm going to slow down, turn around, <laughs> yeah. try to get that speed back up again. It's like, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to keep going. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck, he just kept driving. <laughs> Can we rob anyone on this highway? No, no. no. We're the good guys. We're not supposed to rob anybody, yeah. right? All right. Uh, so the red Chevy goes first, and they got a 12. So we have to be a 12 or higher. Yeah, we can do that. Simple, simple. Yeah, I did. Uh, I can't remember so how you, much damage you, it's you roll two dice and add your firepower to it? Yes. Um, and then when we win, I can't remember how much damage to do. So that's 15 that but we did. A successful hit causes damage to a vehicle, which is represented by deductions from the armor score. Roll one die and deduct this number from the... Oh, so it's like... Before, in the Fighting Fantasy books, it was like two damage, two damage, two damage, oh, two damage. There was no variables in damage. I, it was always like, you're going to take two or whatever. I think it's dependent on, like, uh, if you're... I think that's a special vehicle rule thing. That I just read? Yeah, like I think I think the role is for fighting for for vehicle fighting, but when you're oh. it, when you're if you're fighting like hand to hand, it'll be different. Oh, depending okay, on what yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So we do six. Boom! Damn. They have fifteen health, so I can keep track of it here. So <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> so they're at nine. So we go again. I mean, this combat's stupid, and we don't need to do. I could just say we win, right? yeah, just to move on. But I might do that at some point. I'm like, I don't like, want to roll any dice. Yeah. This combat is. In. We'll take if three I lose, damage. What am I going to do? All right, good stream, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it. So they rolled a 15, and we rolled a much higher number. Yep, we rolled uh, 17. Yeah. So we do four damage. They're at five. So they go. We rolled a 12. We go. We rolled a higher number than 12. Mm -hmm. Five or higher, and we just kill them. We blow up their red ship for yeah, play. Yeah, do it. No, there hey, you go. Five. Exactly. Sick. Cool combat. Was everybody immersed? <laughs> <Were> we... <laughs> Did everybody like have a good time? I was feeling was very... Anybody, anybody sweating? Yeah. Like, you're like, holy fuck. Do you, I was really God. concerned we were not going to be able to get there. Do yeah. you think the guy in the picture there has like a little side ponytail? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Every time nice. I'm playing any kind of like tabletop RPG and have to roll dice, you know what I think of? You ever seen that Key and Peele sketch where they're playing D&D? &D? Oh, no. And the guy's no. like, he's got his, my cousin is here to play with us. He's like, yeah, I'm Kanye the Giant. <laughs> it's really good. He's like, I hop in my, my Jeep Land Rover. Like, he's like, I hop in my Land Rover and turn on my, put in my mixtape. <laughs> he's like, it's D&D, &D, you can't. Yeah, it's not uh, the, oh, whatever. I, I do like these and these kind of uh, things where it says like, this isn't, you know, if you lose, go here. If you win, go here. It's if you manage to destroy it, go here. Because the alternative is you're dead. Yes. Yeah. Because we just lose. If we lose this fight, then that's it. If you yeah. lose this fight, just close the book. I'm seeing an awful lot of people in chat spelling tire, not using a Y. Wow. Yeah. No, you're going to have to. That's the rule now, okay? Yeah. If you're watching this live on twitch.tv slash loading ready run, and you are going to have the audacity to type tire in our Twitch chat, you have to use a Y. Yep. From now on. There yeah. we go. There you go. Thank you. Finally. Put some respect on it. Mm -hmm. We're trying to world build, and we can't world build if you're not into it. Right? Uh, by the way, uh, if you are anywhere near Victoria, and you want to get an idea of, of the scale of distances, uh, downtown to um, the, uh, the airport is 25 kilometers. Oh, my God. So, that... In I mean, terms of how far away that 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 it's not long. yeah, it's like a at no if no traffic it's like a twenty minute drive it's about twenty minutes yeah, yeah. and like if you're going at one hundred ninety kilometers an hour <laughs> now, that I, now that I've been made aware that we are driving at one ninety <laughs> just baseline you know like our character just has just decided like yeah this pedal goes to the floor and there's no in between yeah I don't believe in like a nice you know ninety yeah. kilometers an hour you know. 
I don't even know, like, did, was he shifting gears the entire time? If the car yeah, weighs this much, he would need probably about, like, 15 gears. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the fucking gear shifter's, like, this long. <laughs> Or, or he's got like the ones that they have in like in trucks where it's like you got to do the one and you got to do like the other ones. You got to go to the other thing and you got to yeah. go to it again. Yeah. My man's playing Guitar Hero. <laughs> like. All right, so we win. Uh, turn to one eighty eight. Do 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 do. The, the biggest CVT you've ever seen in this car. <laughs> <clears throat> you step. You stop your interceptor to examine the burning wreck. Who are these people, and why did they attack you without warning? Why do you care now? <laughs> you shake your head and hit the accelerator, eager to reach your destination. You are passing a security truck and thinking about all the money inside it, which is now useless. Okay. When suddenly a voice comes through on your radio above the crackling static. It is one of the New Hope's leaders. She tells you how a gang of bikers have just attacked New Hope, killing eight people in the process. After Johnson. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, oh, no. Johnson. Wait, yeah, he, he was on a bike! <laughs> Holy shit, you're like, yeah, New Hope's just over that way, completely defenseless. <laughs> just, it's like a kinder egg. Yeah. It's like, really? Yeah. Rack shotgun? <laughs> it's like, why would you do that now? Uh, killing eight people in the process. After a short battle, they were eventually beaten off. She warns you to be on the lookout for them. As they, had kin kid as they have kidnapped Sinclair, the council leader, you acknowledge the message and say goodbye. After an hour or so of driving without any further incident, you notice that your petrol gauge is dropping. The interceptor is very heavy on petrol. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't drive at 190. Mm -hmm. like, uh, <laughs> you stop and pour the contents of the fuel canister into the tank, realizing that you will have to find some more petrol soon. A few kilometers further, and you know your luck has really run out. There must have been a car crash at the time of the disaster, which caused a huge tailback of now abandoned cars. It is impossible to continue along the highway. You reverse back to the last exit and drive off the highway. You must decide which way to head along the road which crosses over it. If you wish to drive east, turn to 341. If you wish to drive west, turn to 66. We don't even know where we're going, no, though. we have no fucking idea. So, wait, is yeah. there a map? One, one, presumably our character knows what direction we're supposed to go, but we don't. Oh, yeah. yeah. And two... We didn't bring enough fuel for... The, like, we know how far away this place is, right? And we just didn't bring enough fuel well, for had, the trip? We had to make room in the trunk for all the seeds and grains. Yeah, well, think, where, where is the zoom? We'll, we'll fuel up on the way. Yeah. In I the post-apocalyptic we wasteland. We shot all those guys in their, in their, in their Chevy. We should have just siphoned all their gas <laughs> yes. and kept going. We didn't, because they specifically said, as you ex examine the ruins of the yeah, fucking Chevy terrible. that yeah. you left behind, <laughs> like, I don't believe in recouping any of my losses. <laughs> I want these people dead. <laughs> I want them dead yesterday. East or west? Uh, What's your gut say? I think it's west. Okay. Yeah. West it is. Now uh, we're going to drive west, go to 66. I was glad to hear, though, that the people of New Hope successfully beat off all those bikers. <laughs> Get out of here. He's trying so hard <laughs> to not say anything yeah. while you were reading. Okay. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you bullies. Ah, one of them shot me. And they took Sinclair. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, 66. The road heads directly west, and you are able to travel along it quickly, as it is relatively free of obstacles. However, your easy drive is short-lived. Oh. The road comes to a river, which is used to cross, <clears throat> but the drawbridge, which spans the river, is partly open, stop, stopping you from driving across, and we got to jump in. Just off the highway, <laughs> there's a drawbridge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and a Where should we put colors? the drawbridge? Yeah, fucking put it off the highway. I, Gotta get people. I, I played Oregon Trail. You, yeah, you you float the thing across the you you. Yeah, you whatever. For, you ford your river. That's why it's a dodge. Yeah, you lose eighteen cattle. <laughs> Fuck, we're gonna lose all our grains. We can't go. The, we're fucking hauling grains. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like. They must have had, like, an agreement, like, you have to bring this much grains. If we don't have it all, they're not going to give us 10,000, like, the, all the 10,000 liters, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like, sorry, all you get was 1,000 liters of gasoline. And I, what are we going to do with that? Yeah, you actually didn't tell me where to go, and I drove all the way around fucking the United States looking for this place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Has anyone has anyone thought about just I don't know using all the solar panels that have been left over for yeah. to keep us warm? Like you judge that if you drive over it at about 180 kilometers per hour, the momentum should carry the interceptor across the gap to the far side. <laughs> That's math. But then again, it might not. <laughs> Fuck. Well, it, yeah. I mean, you did think it might, so trust your gut, right? This is like a partially open drawbridge, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and, our, and we, of course, have a very slow vehicle with a lot of armor, so... Well, we do go 190. Yeah, but we can go 190, right? Yeah, so it's like... If we slow down to 180, then we can make it over this drawbridge. That'd like, be such, that like... Again. If, if you had, like, a, a passenger, that'd be such a badass line. Just be like, I figure if we go 180 kilometers an hour, we'll make it over this jump. Oh, so you're saying if we slow down, yeah. we make it over the jump. Yeah. Is that it, Mad then Max? Thanks. Down. Then again... My math isn't too good. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you Presses driving? down the accelerator. <laughs> yes. Then again, my mom didn't raise no math magician. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So if you wish to drive across the bridge, turn to 270. If you would rather turn around and drive east, turn to 150. Oh, we're fucking jumping it. Dude. Yeah, we got to jump Those it. Those Duke boys got themselves in a mess of trouble. <laughs> it's... 270? Yeah. If we if we make it to the refinery, how do we make it back if the drawbridge isn't all the way down? Who that's the problem for uh future Dude, Maxwell. That that's not considering what the, the thing that we picked, but Paul, look at that wow. man standing there. Oh the Jesus. animal. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, I don't need a shirt. Just give me a gimp mask and some <laughs> wrestling boots and maybe some gray sweatpants and I'm good to go. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to wear a shirt, like, ever? No. No, no, I'm just going to be oh, you, injecting uh, my gear. Yeah. You, you watched the Rumble yesterday, eh? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, like fucking, it's a lure character. Can you put some studs in those boots? Nice. Excellent, mm. yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, you reverse your car to give yourself a long enough run up to the bridge. You tense slightly, and the adrenaline starts to flow through your veins. The engine roars as you pump the accelerator, then you suddenly release the clutch and screech away. Oh, it is a Towards the bridge. All right. You hit the bridge at 120 kilometers per hour, and you watch the d the dial rise to 130 as the front wheels leave the ground. Roll two dice. If the total is same as or less than your skill score, turn to 70. If the total is greater I, than your skill score, to turn to 31. We are bad at math. We didn't go back far enough, dude. I I don't know. So I've, we went from being able to drive 190. Yep. To knowing we could drive 190, and then backing up only far enough where we could get to 120. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, all right, I figure I need to go 180 to get over this. <laughs> get over this jump. Lengths, right? Yeah. Just, Cut, yeah cuts, <laughs> cuts to him going 130. Okay, this will be fine, too. Yeah. <coughs> Three car legs. Like, <laughs> all right, this looks good, brother. Look, I'm bored. I want to jump this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, so our skill score is nine, so we have to roll a nine or lower. On 2d6. 2d6? That's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2d6 average is 7. You right. can hit 7s. 11. Nope. Okay. Uh, 231. Please don't kill us. If it kills us, we'll just go to the We go east. Place. Yeah. <laughs> if we die, we go east. No, if we die, we make the jump. Oh, even that's even better. We die. The front wheels slam down on the opposite side of the bridge, but the rear <laughs> wheels just miss it. Oh. The car slides backwards and plunges 30 meters into the river below. You failed your mission. <laughs> Like, that's it? We just don't get out? Do we die? Are we... Well, I would hope we'd just get out. Yeah. Like, and be like, all right, well, I'm going to swim back to New Hope. Now you realize why these games suck. Because <laughs> you just fail a die roll and you die. <laughs> so, we would have to... I mean, if we were playing this properly, we would restart. Yeah. Go through all those choices again. Yeah. Oh, you want to roll? I'll roll. Beach wins! I make it across. God, what a good driver you are. <laughs> Turn to 70. We win. It's just the, like... I, I bet I need to go 180. Meanwhile, going 130, you leave the ground. <laughs> it's like, well, you're not going to make it now, are you? <laughs> I think I screwed up. Yeah. I don't have a lot of time to think about this, but... He's good at math, not good at driving. Yeah. All of a sudden, Bob O'Reilly starts playing. It's like, well, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> free, probably wondering how I got here. Freezes in midair. So I, yeah. didn't, I didn't back up far enough. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what, what page are you going to? Uh, 70. <laughs> Such a 
a good song. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Uh, the wheels slam down on the far side of the bridge, and you have to struggle with the steering wheel to keep the interceptor going in a straight line. You were across the bridge, but traveling at a high speed towards an uh, overturned truck. Oh. We were just driving 190. <laughs> Did we oh, the thing where we said we had to swerve all over the place to dodge wreckage? <laughs> so we can miss this, right? Surely. <sighs> also, would we have not seen the truck on the other side? Like, I don't think it was on like a higher <laughs> yeah. plane. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Shit, a truck out of nowhere! <laughs> Where'd that truck come from? It's about, you gotta at least uh, be at least about 30 kilometers you down know, the road. We never hit it. Just driving and they get in an accident that they are at fault for, or they're embarrassed that they did. Yeah. Like, yeah, fucking truck came out of nowhere. And yeah. I guarantee you, if you saw, it was like, yeah, it's right fucking there. They just ran into it. <laughs> The fucking truck came out. Of, I'm I, telling you, babe, the truck came out of nowhere. Yeah, it just clipped through the ground. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I feel like yeah, Ian Livingston maybe hasn't done like a ton of driving <laughs> at high speed. Yeah. And and maybe it's just like go you know while he's writing this, just like calls somebody. It's like what's a fast speed for a car? <laughs> I don't know, 190. Pretty fast. Right? Called a buddy of his who like watches F1, and yeah. he's like, yeah, 190 is pretty fast. Okay. All right. Uh, you were across the bridge, but traveling at high speed towards an overturned truck. Roll two dice. If the total is same or less than your skill score, turn to 62, and if it's greater. So we either die or we don't. Okay, cool. So you're, so uh, one of us loses. Yeah, okay. basically. Like, okay, this time I'll roll for this one. Eight. Yeah, we have a nine. Nice. Wow, Beach, you're good mm -hmm. at this. Mm -hmm. Fuck, you're so good at rolling dice. <laughs> I'm an excellent driver. Isn't that a fucking funny thing where people are like, wow, you're good at rolling dice. So Good. So fucking good. <laughs> like, how do you do it? You pick it up and you do some, <laughs> and you drop them and then they come out the way you want. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why I can't do that. Can you tell me? It's one of those things like, uh, it's like, like mana weaving in, uh, in magic where it's like, either it doesn't make any difference yeah. or it does make a difference and you're cheating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually come into every one of these Dice Friends stream with like specifically loaded dice so I never lose and everyone's like, wow, Adam's so fucking good. God, what a gamer, you know? All right, uh, so we win 62. Yeah, I'm going to get roll, roll hunger every time. You manage to control the speeding interceptor and swerve around the overturned truck. Turn home 51. Oh, yeah, okay. That's it. <clears throat> you drive off the bridge heading west again. You soon come to a T-junction, which offers you a choice of roads. If you wish to keep driving west, turn to 179. If you'd rather drive south, it, turn to 362. In the, at the beginning. T-junction, but we only have two choices? Isn't that just... Well, I guess because we came... Oh, right, you're right, yeah. We came... We're coming... We're at a T. We're going west. Yeah, we're going <laughs> okay, west. Hold up. Continue going, going west. west or go south. And it's like, yes. no, there's a T. There's if a you T. Can... There's a third one, right? Yeah, there's another option. Yeah, it's like, do you want to keep... What's the other one? Continue going west or go Should south. Two, right? Oh, wait, no, hang on. Because you can either continue going west or you can go south. Yeah, you're but just going up one of the sides. The other way would like take a, you back east. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Never mind. Yeah, okay. Back the way you can. I'm an idiot. But, but it's like, let me let me just quickly Look. run back to the beginning here. Yeah. Where it says when you're when you're outfitting your car. Yeah. You run through the checklist: map, flashlight, <laughs> med kit, compass, stuff. <laughs> Fucking first thing. Like, yeah, maybe maybe you should look at your map. Like, yeah. presumably a road map, nobody's building more roads, right? So, like, a road map is still going to be valid. Yeah. Some of the roads might be broken. Yeah. But it's, it's still, still like you have, like, okay, I'm going this way to this place. It's not a map of here. <laughs> <laughs> you have a map of Disneyland in your car. <laughs> It's one of those. It's one of those. Yeah, tourist maps where everything's a bit bigger on it. It's like I have a map of the United States. Fuck it. Okay, so we we're heading towards the Grand Canyon, and mm -hmm. then we take a left at Yellowstone. <laughs> I think it's fucking big. It's like, There's a big deer here. Yeah. I don't. Where's the big deer? Yeah. We played like Sam and Max hit the road. You know that they have like the big map with just like all the tourist traps on it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, if the map's in the back of the book, I'm gonna get really upset. West or south. West, I guess. You want to keep going yeah, west? I mean, west, young man? like, I, I assume yeah. it's because the United States is much wider than it is deep. So, I mean, like, just keep going west. Yeah. 179. <laughs> Jump another bridge. Standing in the middle of the road, <laughs> waving his arms frantically, is a man wearing denim jeans and a jacket. The Canadian tuxedo. Yeah. Except he's from fucking Canada. 
like this guy, eh? Oh, I'm disappointed that this isn't the guy here. Oh. A motorcycle helmet co co covers his head. Oh. If you wish to stop to talk to him, turn to 142. If you'd rather drive past him, turn to 215. I mean, the motorcyclist just robbed New, Hay or New Hope, right? Yeah. Yeah, but how could he get here? He, had, he would have had to have jumped the... He had to fucking jump the bridge, Yeah, right? and motorcycles are real fast. They could probably do it. They could definitely go 180. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I want to talk to him. Fuck it. My I'll get robbed. My, cycle in one, uh, my, my motorcycle going 180 is way faster than any car going 180. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you can't rob me of anything that matters. It's true. Yeah. That's the attitude I have to... The thing... You can't take from anything from me that will change my life. Yeah. You screech to a halt, but leave your engine running through your loudspeaker. <laughs> right, yes, you don't have to. Oh, fuck, we don't have to get out, window, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Roll down the window, what's up? <laughs> like, hello. I was born in the darkness. <laughs> yeah, molded by it. That's how they communicate in the future, yeah. is, through, is through Christopher Nolan movie. What'd quotes. you have for breakfast? A frowny biscuit? <laughs> Fucking Gary? <laughs> Pizza? Sugary tomato paste. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? No. Bane outtakes. You should watch it. It's oh, very Jesus. good. Scary. Pizza. <laughs> Through your loudspeaker, you tell the man to raise your arms into the <laughs> into the air, not to try any tricks. He pulls out a gun and raises it into the air. <laughs> no tricks. No tricks. <laughs> All right. You notice that his motorbike is lying on its side just off the road. With your gun drawn, you carefully step out of the car. Suddenly, the man in denim runs off the road and draw, dives into the ditch just as something flies through the air and bounces on the road between you and the interceptor. With horror, you see that it is a grenade. Hey. That's their fucking way of robbing people. <laughs> you go stand out here, yeah. put your hands up. Yeah. When the guy pulls a gun on you, turn and run. run. And Nothing I'll, bad will happen. I'll throw the grenade. <laughs> I promise you I will not miss. Yeah. He won't shoot you. I just like the image of like you standing there, you have your gun out, and then they run, you're like, what the fuck? And then you look, and this grenade just flies over your head. <laughs> it like lands like way far past. It's like, Dougie, you threw it too far. <laughs> uh, you see a blinding flash, and in the same instant, a deafening explosion knocks you off your feet. Test your luck. If you're lucky, turn to 299. If you were unlucky, turn to 25. Oh, you want me to you roll our luck yet? Yeah. All right. You What's your luck? Seven. Seven, brother. Jesus, got to roll low. Nine. Wow. Okay, so I I don't get to roll anymore. If you're unlucky. You turn twenty five. This might kill us, so it probably doesn't matter. Fair. They might just steal our car. Holy <laughs> shit! It doesn't kill us. Okay. Ooh. Cool. Hey. Wow. Hi, dude. What the? F <laughs> Is that Chuck Norris? Yeah, yeah. Has to be right. Holy shit! Where's that picture in my book? Is it the other page? I don't have that picture. Oh, you have a very different picture. Oh. I don't have sexy Chuck Norris. I just have... Oh, wait. I'm on the wrong page. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Fuck. Crisis averted. There you go. There are. he is. God damn, dude. Very Bostwick and Megaforce. <laughs> yeah, let me get the skull and crossbones on my pec. Mm -hmm. That's the tattoo you want? Really? Yeah. Because you know he had these tattoos before the apocalypse oh, yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, had decided that this was the look that he wanted. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, I want to appeal to women, so give me the skull crossbow. The force right of the blast knocks you unconscious. Turn to 100. That's it. We're oh, good. okay. Easy. You wake up. Your car's still there. But you can't wake up. Can't wake up. <laughs> wake me up inside. No. F you wake sometime later, your head aching worse than anything you have ever known. Then you remember, the interceptor. You sit up and look around, but it's gone. You have failed your mission. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Where were we originally? Does anyone remember what page we were on? Oh, shit. Um, How can we die? Oh, it was, it was Cowboy Man with his gun like this. Yeah, but yeah. what page was that? that I, 142? <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank you. I was like, just go through the book until you find, find Cowboy, Cowboy Man. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we were, we're just going to change that. You're, they made us go two steps to lose. Yeah. Why did they say, like, oh, you go unconscious, turn to 100? I think that the idea is that if you've done it once and then you do it again, it's like now you can't remember how to get back. And, and it's also, I think it's also that that's, like, the generic, you lose your car. Oh. Like, they can, okay. they can, yeah, yeah, they can yeah, bring yeah. you to 100 from all sorts of different places to, oh, like, that's a good point. you lost your car. All right, 299, we're definitely lucky. There's no way we failed this roll. God bless America. 
$2.99. Despite the force of the blast, you only suffer a minor flesh wound caused by the flying shrapnel. Lose two stamina points. Ooh. Okay, well, that's fine. Current stamina, 32. You roll along the ground, taking cover behind the interceptor as your assailants begin shooting. The only way to escape is to shoot it out. You know, I'm not rolling this combat. Combat sucks, dude. Okay. It's so boring. I'm just it's, gonna, I'm just just gonna roll. roll a thing. Fuck, they die. Holy All right, shit. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> God fucking parts the clouds, looks down, gives you the thumbs up, and then shoots both the bandits with his fucking God gun. <laughs> it shoots Bibles that also shoot bullets. He shoots them, Bible comes out, fuck, they spin, shooting bullets everywhere. Everyone's like, holy shit, it's God. <laughs> All right. I'm glad we use that now. Is, yeah. yeah, that's a good ability to use now. This is like a special combat, too, because they have, like, because uh, there's two guys, so you have to fight with them. You have to fight them uh, one at a time. Oh. And it says, uh, <laughs> I need to write my own book. I've thought about it. I was like, that'd be fun. It's like a group project, a lure group. We write our own choose your adventure book. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it would just be stupid. Yeah, ultimately. I, was, I think it wouldn't be funny. There's I, no way, right? I would put in a chain of stuff that's like, you, 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 you're you, knocked unconscious, turn to this page. You wake up, you look around, you can't see a thing, turn to this page. Then you walk around here. And it's like a six chain of like, of like, oh, but also you failed. You died. Yeah. yeah. Oh, also... By the way, I know you've walked a long way, but then you've realized that you've lost all of your stuff and you lose. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you died 10 minutes ago, but just didn't yeah. know it. Yeah. You catch your pants. Your wallet! Yeah. You have failed your mission. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! So, oh, yeah, they say uh, with this, in this fight, uh, if you are hit more than once, you have to reduce your skill point by one. <laughs> what? Because, I don't know, bullets, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah fair. This game sucks, All dude. Right. Ian Livingston's a psychopath. <laughs> All right. Uh, during the shooting combat, both bikers will fire separately at you during each attack round. Yeah. But you must choose which of the two you will fire at. Against the other, you will throw... Uh, against the other, you will throw for your attack strength in the normal way, but you will not wound him if your attack strength is greater. You must just count this as though his bullet missed you. If you win, turn to 197, but reduce your skill permanently by one point if you were shot more than once in the <gasps> battle. Dude, what? You just lose. You just start... You know, just take a hit, you, you permanently lose. Oh, God. Dude, that's but, impossible. We have a seven, We have a nine skill. We've never made, we're not fighting anybody. Yeah. Well... Good thing you kicked ass in that yeah, fight. Yeah, we definitely won. Turn 97. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I love winning. It's fun. You stand up and walk over to where the two bikers are lying crumpled in the ditch. <laughs> Walking dead in the ditch. Thanks, God. <laughs> Thanks, God. Yeah. I like God's to thank like, God. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> He just rips cotton and there's clouds everywhere. How do you think they get clouds? Yeah, he's just got a big vape. Like everybody knows that. The God vape. I went to Sunday school enough. Yeah. God's got that strawberry lemonade. Uh, one of them is carrying a throwing knife which you slide down the leg of your leather boot. You read the roof. You don't, you don't have a holster. You just, no, basically we just cut open it. the inside of your leg. All right. You trip. Oh, fuck! <laughs> you cut an artery, you die. <laughs> don't they also have, like, guns? That you can... uh, anyway. Nah. All right. oh, Paul, we don't want the guns, we want the throwing knife. Yeah. All right, well, uh, I guess you can write a throwing knife on your character sheet. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah nice, yeah, we have a point. thing now. I have a throwing... I don't know what situations... I mean, maybe somebody will, like, take away your weapons yeah. but miss that. We're, like, trapped, right? Yeah. yeah. Someone's got us in one of those... Fucking chairs like they had in Casino Royale. Mm -hmm. They're fucking swinging the thing. And they're oh, I, uh, yeah. You know? Like, I, I do know. not like that. Uh, I feel like I always, I remember that scene just being like, I think if I'm in a torture situation and they put me in a chair and cut the bottom out of the chair, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, there isn't any torture <laughs> that I can endure that involves cutting the bottom out of this chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to tell you whatever sure, you yeah. want right now. Yeah. <laughs> Right now, that if you're, kind of, if you're putting me to sit on the chair, which chair? The one without a seat. I'm like, <laughs> How do I sit on it? I'm going to fall through it. Yeah. Uh, well, you, we'll worry about that. Later. Okay. Okay. I'm like, you know what? What do you need to know? <laughs> yeah. We can yeah. talk. Like, yeah. Let's just talk. Oh, we didn't name our character Otaku Jeffrey. Yeah, you're right. I guess there's not like a post apocalyptic name that we can give Otaku Jeffrey, right? 
I mean, we could we could Taku. This has to be a Taku Jeffrey. Yeah, I mean, the Taku Jeffrey Max, I guess. Taku but. Max. You just, I mean, you spelled his name with a Y, so just like the tire. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Taku Jeffrey. Um, okay, you rest for a while until you feel fit enough to continue your journey. Yeah, we're not in a rush or anything. No. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Yeah. Next to the two dead bodies that you just shot, that God just shot. <laughs> that was rough. Fuck mm. uh, me, man. God damn it. All right. All right, turn to 215. Time to take the guns off their body and throw them away. <laughs> Ooh, a knife. <laughs> uh, 215. You travel west looking for a major road going south. Oh, we've been trying to go south the whole time. I right. guess. That's weird. Everything okay? Yeah. Okay. Then I guess we could have turned south back at that T-junk. Oh, well, whatever. Um, Wider than it is tall. But the decision is made for you when you arrive at a solid tailback of cars just beyond a left turning. <sighs> the impassable blockade of cars and trucks stretches into the distance as far as you can see, all of them long since abandoned. If you wish to head south, turn to 149. Can we not, like, just drive on the side of the, like, just kind of go off the road a little bit and yeah. go around? Can we just go around it? Yeah. It's like, no, it goes actually, it's like a fucking wall. Oh, it, yeah. it goes entirely around the circumference of the planet. Yeah, and the roads are about, like, six feet off the ground. So. <laughs> uh, if you wish to head south, turn to 149. If you'd rather stop and look around inside some of the abandoned vehicles. Yes! <laughs> Like, so far, getting out of your car has Never. always been bad, yeah, right? Yeah, it's always yeah. been bad. Oh, there's no, like, wait, I guess the guy in the town wasn't... wasn't there's, like, a small didn't... child in one of them that's been raised by squirrels. <laughs> it chitters at you. Leather jacket wearing squirrels. We find squirrels. Steve Jackson. <laughs> Ian Livingston just puts him in the book. Yeah, this decrepit old man with no talent, no creative vision approaches you. I hope these two are the best of friends. I hope so, yeah. too. But I like the idea that they both, when they split up, they that's, got so fucking mad at each other. That's like, I, I remember when, when we were playing the Dante's Inferno game uh, with, uh, and Graham and I, we had Brad, who actually is like a scholar. He, oh, yeah. he, he studied uh, uh, literature. Yeah. Uh, and he was talking about how, like, there's a ton of, all, basically, everybody who you meet in, or who who was shown in the in the book of Dante's Inferno are like people who Dante didn't like, and he's just like, yeah. And then this guy is in hell, yeah. being tortured this way because he was a douche yeah, to me. This guy who was dating the girl I liked in high school. Yeah, yeah. In medieval high school. <laughs> All right. Uh, whatever caused the tailback certainly created havoc among the owners of the vehicles. Cars appear to have locked in, have <laughs> locked into other cars. Uh, as frustrated drivers tried to uh, ram their way out of the blockage, only to make it worse. Fuck. Yeah, that's that would have happened. It's, I'll just drive through it. God, it's been bad here, but yeah. that's never happened. You squeeze between the vehicles looking for something useful. You find a crowbar on a truck, and you use it to force open the boots of several cars. And you slide the crowbar into your other boot. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Lock in. Boot Moving up the trunk. line of cars, you suddenly panic at the thought of the interceptor being left unguarded. If you wish to run back to your car, turn to 264. If you prefer to keep on searching through the cars, turn to three. My wallet! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you check your pants, my wallet, you failed your mission. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're like, holy shit, the car, we shouldn't have left it. I feel like if we leave the car, something bad's going to happen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's go back to the okay. car. We did find a crowbar. That's good. 264. We have to keep it. Did we get anything out of the trunk, or we just opened the no, boot? No, we right? just opened the boot. Okay. It's in the boot. And then we put the, we put the crowbar in our boot, but not the boot. Uh, carrying the crowbar, you leap across the roofs of the cars to hurry back to the interceptor. Luckily, it is still where you left it, and you are soon on the road again, heading south, turn to 149. All right, we've got a crowbar. Okay, got a crowbar, brother. Did I ever tell you about at my old job before I started streaming, mm. like this, working, learn, and doing everything else? I worked with a guy, and his nickname was The Crowbar. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he gave the nickname to himself, and he would talk about himself in the third person. He would say, like, Crowbar doesn't think that's a good idea. Fucking, yeah. And he was, like, old. He was, like, 55. He, he, he always talked about how he grew up in Montreal and he oh. ran with gangs all the time. Oh. And, fucking, just to paint this picture for you, uh -huh. no teeth. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. Didn't have any teeth. Strong choice. Yeah. 
Jesus. The crowbar. Fucking crowbar. Uh, you always do stuff like, uh, fucking grab my forearm, feel that. Pretty strong, huh? Fucking crowbar. <laughs> like, sure, I guess. Did, did he do anything that was like, I don't know, make his name make sense? Like, like open could, boxes with his bare hands crazy. or something? No. 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 Just his name, the crowbar. Because apparently, <laughs> I mean, we're going on tangents. Sure. Apparently, the reason he got that name... <laughs> I did, yeah. I know the read like the okay. read the story he told me of how he got the name. Great. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is I don't know if this is true. Okay. But he was hustling a guy in a pool hall in Montreal cuz he used to like and I think he was playing it was like a Hells Angels cuz that was big in Montreal, right? Oh, yeah, Hells yeah, Angels yeah, okay. were everywhere. Mm-hmm. And it was a Hells Angels guy and he hustled them and the guy didn't like it. So he beat him and the crowbar was walking away from the pool table with his fucking money. Yeah. And the guy hit him in the back of the head with a tire iron. But it's like, where did he get the tire iron from? This doesn't make any sense. You're yeah. in a bar. He's just like, a tire iron's like the fucking, the cross, right? Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So he hits, and then Crowbar got hit in the back of the head with a tire iron uh-huh. and just fucking turned around and looked at the guy and the guy ran away. That's word for word the story he told me. So he got hit with a tire iron and he says, my name is now the Crowbar. Yes. Okay. Because of the brain yourself, damage. Because call yourself, everyone calls <laughs> me Tire Iron. iron. <laughs> okay. You spelled a tire with a Y. Tire Iron. And you spell iron with a Y too. Tire Iron. Tire Iron. Tire Iron. Tire Iron. Tire iron. All right. Uh, what were we going to? Fuck. I got, I uh, you came back to your car and then you have to, yeah. What number though? Uh, 149. All right. 149. I just love that you He's were like, chat right now. Did, I this, did I leave oh, the gas shit. on? Nope. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. The country road runs straight ahead, far into the distance, and you were able to make ground or good headway, as it is relatively free from abandoned cars. Finally. Yay! Like, after an hour's driving at high speed, you arrive at a T junction. If you wish to continue driving south, turn to 225. If you wish to turn left and head east, turn to 11 or 114. If I we, think we just keep heading south. Yeah, right? I think so. Because if we turn east, we're going to start going back the way we came. Yeah. Just start drive in larger and larger circles around New Hope until we find this refinery that we have a map for. We just, we just end up back in New Hope. Yeah. Like, where's the fucking gas? <laughs> uh, I, I burned it all. I got a crowbar. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I got crowbar? this crowbar. It's in the boot. I mean, my boot, not my the boot. boot. <laughs> in the boot. It's my boot. Why road, is your leg bleeding? Yeah, the road cuts through overgrown fields, but there are no obstruct- obstructions on the road. They keep fucking pointing this out specifically. Yeah. Great. You Do check a perception your, check. You check your uh, millimeter, 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 millimeter. Millimeter. I would say o- mil- odometer is yeah, what we but, call it. But yeah. Millimeter is what they put. Okay, weird. Millimeter. Yeah. Okay. You check your millimeter, see how far you have come, and see that the petrol petrol gauge is reading empty again. If you have picked up a fuel canister recently, turn to one ninety seven. If you have not picked up one, uh oh, turn to three sixty four. Okay, let's lose this We have this not. One. We have not picked up. Any gas. Yeah. So 364 is definitely a fail state, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it is. Great. Awesome. So we picked up a fuel canister off of but all those up. cars we're gonna, that were parked. We're going to find why we lost. we got to see this beautiful world building. All right. A few kilometers down the road, the engine starts to cough and splutter. Finally, it jerks to a halt, and your worst fears are realized. You have run out of petrol. There are no buildings and no signs of life, and you realize that the mission is over. You have failed. You must try to get back to New Hope on foot, perhaps to try to reach San Anglo another time. Can you imagine coming back to that town on foot? Yeah. And they're what like, would you tell people? Where's the interceptor? It's like, I don't know. I drove in random directions, <laughs> not following the map. And then ran out of gas. And then ran out of gas somehow. Yeah. Because apparently you literally didn't look at your, like, gas gauge until it was just about empty. I also want to point out that I was driving at 190 kilometers an hour. The whole time. Yeah. So you got really far away. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, rather than going to, could we go back to, like, what if you went the other, like, what if you turned? Oh, I don't know. But and we're going to go, we're just going to say we have gas. Sure. I don't care. Okay. I'm just curious as to where you were supposed to have picked up gas. Oh, fuck. Who Good knows? point. I mean, maybe Joe's. Maybe we were oh, supposed maybe to, at Joe's garage. Like we were yeah. supposed to kick the shit out of everybody and steal their gas. Yeah, I don't you know. You mean the place that they told us not to go? Yeah. yeah. They were going to rob us? Yeah. yeah. They said they have no gas there anyway. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. We did certainly stop at a lot of cars many, many I guess times. we could have, like, maybe if you had looked more in the cars and not run back to your car, you, oh. you would have found some gas. <laughs> yeah, I did I do can... a sweet jump over this chasm, though. It yeah, that's like... true. Dabs. Yeah, <laughs> 
Uh, so, so thing, right? where, it's like yeah. if it's 2022 or shortly thereafter, right? We're just oh, yeah. like my guy's like <laughs> <laughs> to no one in just, particular. Nobody yeah, is just, like this motherfucker uh, still dabbing during the apocalypse. <laughs> so where? So where are we? 197. Back to? No. Okay. What is our mission? Uh, we're transporting a bunch of grain in our fucking car yeah, in our to another settlement because they have 10,000 liters of gasoline that we have to hop in a petrol truck or whatever. Yeah, fuel tanker, yeah. Fuel tanker and drive it back to the town. That's it. That's the mission. And they're, they're, gonna, they're, saying, they're thinking that this 10,000 liters of uh, petrol will save humanity, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Like, the only way to save our civilization is to get this 10,000. Shouldn't we just, like, fucking join forces with the other settlement? Shouldn't we all move or some yeah, shit? Yeah, you know, just try to pilgrimage? consolidate into yeah. a city. Like, yeah. they fucking, that's how life works is yeah. you make a large village. What happens to your car? We will cross that bridge. We'll jump that bridge at 130 kilometers when we get to it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So... <laughs> You stop the car and get out to empty the fuel canister into the petrol tank. The canister does not hold much petrol, and you realize that you will have to be on the lookout for more. That's fine. If you hope to reach San Anglo. By the time you set off again, it is early evening, and you watch the setting sun through the right-hand window. Soon it will be dark, and there is a new decision to make. Will you drive off the road and sleep inside the interceptor, find a building to spend the night inside, or drive on through the night? Drive on through the night, <laughs> yes. such a bad idea. Just do some mess. And keep going, dude. The way they talk about these roads are just fucking car landmines. Yeah. Every fucking yeah. Do our lights work? Yeah. yeah. Next time, if we see a guy in the middle of the road waving his hands, <laughs> we hit him. Yeah, we just hit him. Just... What are they? What are the cops gonna stop? Like you know what I mean? Like <laughs> fucking murder's fair game. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure, right? Mm -hmm. They threw it. Somebody threw a grenade at us. Yeah, it's dog eat dog. Nobody's gonna fucking arrest us. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're driving on. Uh, we'll drive on through the night. Fucking God's watching over us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 144. <laughs> uh, dude. <laughs> Thanks, God. 144. Last of the four cylinder interceptors. Yeah. <laughs> Your headlights <coughs> cut a white path through the night. On several occasions, you have to swerve around abandoned cars, and as the night draws on, fatigue makes concentration very difficult. Mm. Roll two dice. If the total is the same or less than your skill, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Did you do fail, it. Have you failed yet? Uh, yeah, once. Uh, I think actually it's your turn, turn then, yeah. 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 Right. Oh, succeed. Come on. Uh, <clears throat> turn 68. Thanks to your supreme efforts. Yeah. You manage to avoid all obstacles on the road. As the first rays of the f morning sun begin to creep over the horizon, your weariness departs and you drive on with renewed vigor towards <laughs> that. Or just fucking tiredness just goes away. That's yeah. how it works? Yeah, we're solar powered too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sun comes up and like, hey. oh, I'm awake. <laughs> My wallet. <laughs> Every 10 minutes you remember your wallet's in your pocket. Yeah. And you're like, oh, good. Hey everybody, uh, public service announcement. Uh, driving fatigued is as bad, if not worse, than being intoxicated yeah. from mm -hmm. alcohol. Sure oh, I've done that, yeah. yeah. Terrible idea. All right. Uh, you just have a whole bunch of like EpiPens in the car you keep stabbing yourself in the leg with. It's like adrenaline. It's all fucking jacked up. <laughs> Turn to what? 254. Okay. You know what? This book's been pretty good so far, actually. Yeah. Uh, say I'm surprised. The countryside is picturesque in the early morning light, but you are unaware of the dangers ahead. <laughs> the road has been mined by country outlaws waiting to rob anyone passing through. Roll one die. If you roll one, two, or three, turn to 129. If you roll four, five, or six, turn to 101. Fuck. I love coin flips, dude. Yeah. One of us, one of these will kill us. The other one where he's like, you just drive through, fucking no problem. Yeah, you just miss all the mines. Three. <gasps> Lower is usually good. Yeah. 129. One, Suddenly, there is a deafening explosion and the interceptor is blown sideways by the force of a detonating mine. Wow. Roll two dice and deduct the total from the interceptor's armor. If you survive the explosion, turn to 9-3. I mean, absolutely we will. Nine? Holy shit. Pretty high, but... Yeah. Uh, we have 26. Dude, we hit a landmine. 
<laughs> you drive so fast the mines can't go off in time? Yeah. Well, actually, you know yeah. what? That's true. What yeah. is? I don't actually know how landmines work. I just thought they work like in cartoons where so you, they have a big red button and you step on it and then yeah. it fucking blows up. Well, not, some of them will actually, when you when you step on them, they won't trigger immediately. So you left off? Yeah. Right? The, like you'll, step, they... you'll step on it, you'll step off of it, and the next person who comes along and they actually touch it, then it'll... No <laughs> fucking way. Yeah. The idea is that when some when pressure is applied to it, it's like, oh, now you think that it's safe, like right? timer starts? So yeah. somebody moves, and then when the next person comes over, they'll step in the same spot, but the mine will go off at that point and catch everybody because yeah. they're all in line for it. <laughs> There's yeah, a lot I of know. very horrible ideas. Yeah. Landmines yeah. suck, and they're, they're, they are illegal for a reason. The creativity people have with uh, hurting other people with landmines is quite amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus. You try to restart your stalled engine. What the? F this can't be the right one, is it? Yeah, it said turn 93, right? Was it 93? Yeah, because he got blown. Okay. Yeah, I got I guess our, our engine stalled? Okay. Okay. You try to restart your stalled engine and get away before the outlaws arrive to see what they have captured. Test your luck. If you're lucky, turn to 268. If you're unlucky, turn to 178. Oh, we're lucky. We're lucky. Yeah, we are. Uh, Nobody could see what we rolled. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're lucky. Just, fuck. you know what? Don't worry about yeah, it. Trust, no, we're fine. Trust us. Trust us. Trust us. Trust us. <laughs> 268. 268. Fortunately, the engine was not damaged by the explosion and it starts up right away. You drive off hastily, lucky to have survived, turn to 303. Uh, that was fucking great. There might not have been anybody there who was going to do anything to us anyway, right? They, yeah. they buried the mines, but like, they might be off doing like farming. I've never met a tough cowboy in my life. <laughs> you know? I ain't scared of no cowboy. Nice. Uh, I grew up in Saskatchewan. Oh, fair. Yeah. 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 Cowboys. Up, sorry. You know what I find weird? Actually, never mind. No, it's, that's a tangent. I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> okay. As the morning wears on, it becomes very hot. And the further south you travel, you notice a change in the vegetation. The overgrown fields turn into scrubland, and it won't be long before you are driving across the desert. A few miles further down the road, you arrive at a major junction. If you wish to turn left to head east, turn to 140. If you would rather keep driving south, turn to 189. You know, let's fucking go east. Yeah, know, let's do it. Let's go east. I just feel like going east. Yeah. Trying to understand where the hell we are. I have no idea where we are. Like, where is New Hope? Like, what's part of America is New Hope? So somebody said New Hope is, like, in Pennsylvania. Like, there's actually, like, a town called, called New Hope. Called New Hope? Yeah. Oh, really? But it's, like, well... And is Pennsylvania's, like... It's, like, near the bottom middle, isn't no, it? No, it, it, is, it is actually east. Like, it's, oh, it's, east? it's northeast, yeah. Oh, okay. And so I'm, like, kind of, but I don't... You can't get to a desert from there. So you'd have... The American West is where there's a big desert. Are we sure we're in America? I don't know. Maybe, we're, maybe we're, we're in Canada? Or, I mean, England? It's not very big. <laughs> It's like a fucking straight line. <laughs> yeah, I... Like, I, th I would assume we're in America. Yeah, yeah. And that, that would mean that we're probably, like... Because if we're, if we're assuming scrubland and heading into a desert, but we're coming out of a place where there was actually, like, lots of greenery and stuff, yeah. I don't think this is California, Nevada, or California, Arizona. I think this is maybe, like... Um, I don't think we're in Australia. Yeah, I think this is, like, Midwest. Definitely. I mean, they're having the World Cup in Sydney. That's yeah. what they mentioned specifically, but it's, like, I don't think we're in... Yeah, we're not in Australia. I don't think we're in Australia. No. All right. Look, the apocalypse may have changed the climate for some reason. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's, it, was a, it was a pandemic apocalypse. Like, You travel about 80 kilometers before the road ends in a, at a T-junction. You decide to turn right in the direction of San Anglo, turn to one, or 23. Holy shit, we might actually make it to San Anglo. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. There ain't no way. Uh, it's like we got instructions for all the other we, we got to choose all the other t-junctions but not this one yeah you approach a railway bridge that you must pass under but do not see the laughing man on top of it the stone pillar teeters on the edge of the parapet held from falling by the man as he sees you drive towards the bridge he giggles like a child and releases the pillar he crashes down on the road directly in front of the interceptor Roll two dice. If it's low, same or lower than your skill. Yeah. So we either die or we don't. Hell Seven. Yeah, I'm not even lowering our skill every time. we The test your luck, we're supposed to lower our luck. But really? I'm just keeping it at seven. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, th this is a skill one, not a luck one. Oh, a skill one? Oh, yeah, we do. We, we definitely do. make it, yeah. No. Uh, 137. Yeah. 
So that guy's just been like sitting there with a stone thing waiting for somebody to come by. Yeah, like how often do people drive through? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It's I don't get it. They're like, oh, I'm going to get whoever comes by here. I'm going to get him so good. It's going to be hilarious. He never used to be the laughing man, but then he lost his mind and he's been sitting there for like three weeks. Before he was like the kind of all right guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember Tom. (laughs) Yeah, he's okay. Quiet. You swerve sharply to the left, narrowly missing the stone pillar and pass under the bridge. If you wish to stop to deal with your attacker, turn to 281. Yeah, let's fucking shoot yeah. his ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. God's yeah. been bored for a little while, so God's <laughs> got to fucking get some fucking action in, brother. God's got his fucking hat on that says, like, I fucking hunt ducks and <laughs> my wife is hot. Yeah. You yeah. know? Ducks fear me. Women. I mean, that's what it yeah. is. Yeah. Women are hot. Yeah. Women lust after me. Yeah. 281. Let's shoot this motherfucker. The guy, I just, you just like, are like, hey, what the hell, man? The guy's like, what? <laughs> Is that the laughing man? Really? Yeah. Nice jacket. Oh, I don't know, actually. Yeah. With revolver in hand, you jump out of the interceptor and climb warily up the railway embankment. When you reach the top, you look towards the bridge and see your attacker grab a bag, out, or a bag from out of a caravan abandoned there. This is laundry. He. <laughs> <laughs> He jumps on a motorbike and roars off east away from you. If you wish to look inside the caravan, turn to 58. If you would rather return quickly to the interceptor to continue the journey, turn to 150. All right, so caravan is booby-trapped. You think Let's so? Go in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's definitely booby-trapped yeah. 58. Maybe he's got some fuel, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Wouldn't he take the fuel with him? Uh, prob- maybe not in that bag, though. I mean, it could have been any size bag. They, they drew a thing, and they're making us think that there's a, yeah. something going on. You climb the steps into the caravan, and after a rapid search through the cupboards, you discover a can of corned beef and a grenade. (laughs) That's good cooking. (laughs) I can eat one of these. Yeah. A can of corned beef and a grenade. He he, he pulls out the detonator pin and hurls... Oh, wait. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay. Sorry. Wrong one, wrong one. You put the grenade in your pocket. (laughs) Fuck, it's just... Bulging, like yeah. Can you imagine Boop. putting a grenade in your pocket? It'd be so fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> Jesus, I'm imagining it's one of the really old, like World War One grenades that have like a big stick on the end of it. <laughs> <The> <laughs> <fucking> big long <laughs> ones, yeah. <laughs> you trip and fall on it, you're like, oh fuck, <laughs> fell off my nade. Fuck my nade, dude. <laughs> Why do you have that in your pockets? <sighs> You put the grenade in your pocket and decide to eat the corned beef there and then as you were feeling very hungry. Yeah. Add two stamina points. <laughs> and sleepy. I mean, we haven't slept at all yet. Yeah, we haven't. We're hungry. I like we that we're sleeping. making very bad decisions. I'm going to eat this corned beef right here. Yeah, out of this can. Uh, for here to go. Ah, uh, for here, I think. If we're just going to get a little botulism? <laughs> just a little. <laughs> just a little bit. Add two stamina points. Realizing that you are not likely to see your attacker again, you return to the interceptor ahead south. Turn to 150. Oh, we should hook the caravan up to our car and drag it with us. That'd be fun. But the oil caravan? The, the well, because oh, a, the caravan that we fucking written, found. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should just. Are we up on like a thing? Hold up. <laughs> How did the caravan get up here? Well, the dude was on top of a pillar. I guess. Yeah, we know, climbed up here. So like, it was like a, no, there, it was like a railway bridge that going over. Okay, I think I kind of get it. Well, never mind. Yeah. It's not long before the green vegetation gives way to more barren terrain with tufts of dry grass dotted on top of the stony brown earth. You are soon at a major intersection on the edge of the desert. You stop at the crossroads and see that the road heading east is blocked with abandoned cars. If you fuck it just everywhere. Yeah. Right? If you wish to drive south into the desert, turn to 46, but if you wish to turn turn right to head west, turn to 298. What do you want to do? Beach? I don't even know where we should go. I, I guess don't know, dude. Drive into matters. the desert. You want to go in the desert? Yeah, it's spooky. Yeah, the desert is spooky. Turn to forty-six. The kilometers roll by. <laughs> We're never gonna get miles and kilometers straight in this <laughs> thing. <laughs> and the petrol gauge drops relentlessly down until it registers empty again. If you are carrying a full can of petrol inside the interceptor, turn to three ten. If you are not acquired one recently, turn to three sixty four. Well, we're going to 310 yeah. because I'm not yeah. fucking dying because we ran out of fucking gas. Come to come to think of it, yeah, we actually did pick up like a whole bunch of gasoline. Yeah. yeah. I, oh, you I, said I'm bullets curious. were infinite. <laughs> I'm just curious because like we haven't encountered any gasoline yet no. in the actual plane. The, so it's like, where were you supposed to get that? Yeah. The cars that were parked ahead of us? What? I guess. I guess. 
You stop your car and pour the contents of the can into the petrol tank. You know that you do not have enough fuel to reach San Anglo and wonder where you will find some more in the desert wilderness. It is a depressing thought which weighs on your mind as you set off again. Good. Well, at least we're thinking about it. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> we finally realized. One. I like this. Siphon uh, to get to get more gas. Siphon it from your own tank. You'll have infinite gas. Holy shit! <laughs> Fuck, that's true. Yes. I'm glad we found the cheat code for this. You drive for an hour, neither seeing nor hearing signs of life, until you notice two trails of dust rising into the air, one on each side of the road. They draw closer until you can see what is making the trails: two dune buggies. Both are armed with machine guns and open fire as soon as they are in with, with, within range. Nice. During the vehicle combat, blah, 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 blah. If you win, yeah, we win. Fuck. Um, fucking Mary Magdalene rolls in on a fucking motorcycle. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she has a fucking katana. Yeah. She yes. cuts the wheels and they flip and explode. Oh, and then you're good. like, thanks, like Mary. That. Yeah. She salutes you and fucking does a wheelie and fucking... That's good. Off. Yeah. yeah. 194. Just thank the Bride of Christ. Yeah. 194. This many machine guns has to be Texas? <laughs> well, I mean, isn't that just, yeah, that's post apocalyptic. Yeah, it's Yosemite Sam country, yeah. My biscuits are burning. <laughs> <clears throat> Both dune buggies are ablaze. You decide to get away as quickly as possible. 80 kilometers further south, you see a range of flat top hills rising out of the desert sand directly ahead. The road finally ends at the foot of these hills. Looking left and right, you see the road run straight. There's an arrow east to west. If you wish to turn left, turn to 257. If you wish to turn right, turn to 211. Should We're we... heading south, correct? Yeah. So this there's, is... And there's like a... There's clearly lights and a town or something. Shouldn't we just go towards that? Can we even go towards at this point? Was that the choice? We're going to go east or west. Because uh, like we're driving south and then we see like the road split yeah, off okay, two it ways. Goes that way. We have to pick one. West, maybe? Like, I... You drive into the ocean, you die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, west sounds good. All right, cool. Turn right, turn to... to I think right would be west, right? Because we're heading south, so... Right? Yeah. yeah if, we're heading, if we're heading south and it's going to this way, like, west is going to be right turn. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but you have to do a lot of... Lot, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> It doesn't, actually. Yeah. I hate to break it to you, but none of the decisions we're making uh, <laughs> fucking mean anything. Like, we're literally nothing. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> and yeah. these little gremlins just... <laughs> <laughs> Give me the content, content, man. Fools. You're all fools. And we're not even playing the game. We're just reading words out loud and just having weird fucking random tangents. <laughs> have another... I just told the story about a guy named Crowbar. Everyone's like... <laughs> Which might not even be his real name. Yeah. His real name was Steve. Ah! Yeah. Steve Jackson. Steve Crowbar Jackson. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. I used to write fucking fighting fantasy books. <laughs> then Ian Livingston hit me in the back of the head with a car. Holy he shit. He got his Hell's Angel motorcycle and rode away. Yeah. And then I thought, ever this since is then, they call me the Crowbar. <laughs> Hold up, I have questions. All right. Uh, you soon leave the hills behind, but the road continues to run west. Half an hour later, the engine starts to misfire, and not much further down the road, it cuts off completely. Good! You get out of the car and diagnose the problem as sand in the carburetor. <laughs> did we not just... What did... No, you, hey, the car's great. Yeah. Uh, we didn't put it in an air filter to save weight. Yeah. Sand in the carburetor. We had to make room for the, like, missile rack. Christ! Yeah. Which, by the way... Like I think I think it was supposed to, like you don't use the missiles unless it like gives you the option. I assume you're right. But I'm I'm disappointed we haven't had a chance to blow anything up with the missiles uh, we'll probably yet. Probably get to the refinery and get a chance to use them. Probably blow up the whole refinery. Oh, Just God. as you finish cleaning it out, you hear the deep thumping sound of an engine overhead. Hell yeah! You look up to see a helicopter hovering above you. It is covered with splashes of fluorescent yellow paint, <laughs> and you notice that a gunman is sitting in the cockpit next to the pilot. Through a loudspeaker, one of them instructs you to empty all the interceptor's missile weapons on the road. If you wish to obey them, turn to 11. If you would rather jump inside the interceptor and open fire on the helicopter, turn to 83. Well, Paul, I think you're going to get your wish. 
Although I, I appreciate that uh, wherever this the scan of this book that I'm looking at came from, yep. somebody seems to be making some calculations here at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Holy shit. Yeah, we got to figure this out. Okay, this gives us a hint as to how bad this is going to get. Is yeah. I feel is? like they're writing down page numbers here. Oh, yeah, okay. They are. Uh, yeah, we'll go to 83. I'll fight this helicopter. Oh, man, oh man. We got God and enemy on our side. So we've cut this, we got this helicopter with fluorescent yellow paint all over it. And there was a gun man. A man made of guns. You know what sucked though? What's like up? you hop in your car to fight the helicopter, right? And the helicopter just fucking flies behind you and you're like, oh, fucking, you're like backing up. You're yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, we've got fuck. sand in our carburetor too, right? Yeah. I don't think we can move the car anymore. Uh, you dive inside the interceptor and fire at the sky bandits overhead. The sky bandits. Sky bandits. <laughs> Who return fire immediately. Uh, during vehicle combat, reduce your car's power by two. The firepower by oh, two I because see. of okay. your immobility. Sure. All right. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. We don't have to be immobile because God... Yeah, like parts the clouds, reaches down, picks up the car, puts us right next to the fucking thing. We shoot a missile in it, it explodes, and they yeah. die. And, and God like, gives us a free missile to replace yeah. it. Yeah, God gives us only, a hand job. This thing only has armor <laughs> like, eleven. Congratulations! It's not... Thanks, God. A little slower next time. <laughs> <laughs> Make me believe you like me. Yeah. Just, God's just looking at the sky. <laughs> Just supremely bored. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. I got distracted by the, the next thing down, which is just, just as unknown to you, the dark and warm environment of the outhouse is a perfect habitat for redback spiders. <laughs> yeah, well. I, think that, I guess that's like if you go off the road and look for uh, some shelter or something and go to sleep and spiders eat you. God, yeah. like every part of this book just wants to kill you. It yeah, we're, roll, we're roll one die and deduct kill? the number from your stamina if you're still alive. Go yeah. to the, <laughs> They were they were out on their helicopter robbing people for their fuel for their helicopter. Like, okay. give me your car fuel for my helicopter. It's oh. the future, goddammit. It's 2022. So now that we know that there are redbacks, yeah. those are Australian spiders. They don't live anywhere else in the world. So we're in Australia. Oh, we're in Australia. You know, with uh. a place called San Anglo. Yeah. Very big, you know, uh, um, uh, Spanish. Spanish culture mm -hmm. in Australia. Mate, we're not here to fuck spiders. Mm. 305. The helicopter plunges to the ground and bursts into flame on impact. There's nothing you can do but start up your engine and continue west. Wait, the car stopped. Yeah, we cleaned it out. Whatever, yeah. The See, explosion blew all the sand into the carburetor. <laughs> this is why we never get to pick up any uh, any gas, right? Like everybody we fight up. just explodes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, 216 is where we're going. If we talk it out, they give us all their gas. Yeah. True, best dude. I feel like, like a helicopter, cool as it is, I feel like would not come into play that often in a post apocalyptic world. Like, It'd be very the, expensive to offer. Yeah, the amount of gas and like resources required to keep a helicopter in working order. It's high. Just to be like. And knowledge, too. Like, you have to. Somebody has to know how the helicopter works. Yeah. It's like I wouldn't be able to just look at a helicopter like, oh, your problem here is you got the fucking switch turned to evil. <laughs> let's and it's just like let's fly around and like hope we see another car that we can like like sure if you find somebody you're got air superiority, but still Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jesus. I mean the most efficient way to to lead a, a post apocalypse though is like obviously the thing that's gonna spend the less gas is trains. Everybody should just have trains. Mm. Because all these all these cars are just burning all that gasoline. That's not. Yeah, that makes for a much yeah. more boring version of the post of our <laughs> You know, they're all he, just like in a straight like you're chasing. Oh, I've got to chase that train. Fucking. You, you know what them. trains are great for yeah. when there's a lack of infrastructure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're trains known for being extremely resilient to things being on the track. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Swerve around all these like trains that are broken down the track. Place my grenade on the train track. <laughs> Good luck. Place. One wet leaf on the train track. <laughs> the road eventually ends at a T-junction, and you were able to turn left to head south once again. Turn to 243. Uh, okay. Yeah, With all, the, all these T-junctions, yeah. like, I wonder if Ian Livingston has a good idea of, like, 
what path you're traveling or whether it's just random? I like to think no. Yeah. Like there's not a map. Absolutely. It's just yeah. like when you make this, you're like, I don't know, fuck if it. He, just throw a T junction at it. Because if he looked at a map and was like, okay, there's a place called New Hope and a place called San Angelo on the on the on the map and I know I'm going to do this like a real map of the yeah. states or something so if they follow if they actually just got out a map they could do it in like 10 seconds yeah, yeah. shit what number did I say uh, pick one at random <laughs> two no. uh, helicopter fight let's say I was at 215 or 216 243 okay on the right-hand side of the road, you see an abandoned police car, half covered by a drift of sand. If you wish to stop to see if there's anything for use of you inside the car, turn to 109. If you'd rather keep driving south, turn to 49. I mean, every time we fucking stop, yeah. we've been shot at, we've been tried to rob, fucking... Well, there is that one time that we pulled over and we were searching cars and we got the crowbar and we got really scared that our car, car was near our Yeah, yeah, because yeah. we didn't take the keys out of it, apparently. Maybe this is where we find some gas, though. Yes. That's okay. True. Let's yeah, yeah. tear apart this police. 109. 109. All of a sudden. 109. All of a sudden, police spiders. <laughs> Just stop, criminal scum. <laughs> Robocop shows up, punches you in the dick. Mm -hmm. You explode and die. <laughs> Better luck next time. Whoever was driving the car must have taken everything with them when they set off on foot, rather run or after running out of petrol. Mm. You walk around to the back of the car and try to open the boot, but find it is locked. If you have a crowbar... How about that? ...and wish to prize the boot open, turn to 277 if you'd rather give up on the police car and continue your journey south. Open it. Boom. You got the fucking crowbar. Let's open, that, let's open the trunk and make the car explode upon opening. <laughs> and ever since then, they called me the crowbar. The boot flies open and inside you find a bulletproof vest. Well! <laughs> Add one luck point and one skill point. Yo! I don't even care that they can't rise above their initial value. I'm going yeah. to fucking 10. I don't even care, dude. Fuck you, Ian Livingston. <laughs> Is he still alive? <laughs> Not only that, he's in the chat now. Holy shit, could you imagine? <laughs> I didn't hate Steve Jackson at all. Why are we, why are you doing this? Yeah, yeah. Fucking uh, Ian Livingston sitting on his fucking throne of skulls. <laughs> <laughs> Poor man. <sighs> you put the crowbar. You 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 open the you open the, you go to open the trunk with the crowbar. The crowbar breaks in half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're an, you're an idiot. Fucking moron. What did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> yeah, your own car runs you over. He was knighted die. last year. Holy cool. shit! I'd like to meet the man. Uh, turn forty nine. Uh, you put it on under your jacket and return to your car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got a bulletproof vest. Under our jacket too. Yeah. It must be a big jacket. I've never worn a bulletproof vest, can I, but I can't imagine they're like light. Well, if it's if it's just Kevlar, then it might be okay. But if it's like a plate carrier, like if it actually has like ceramic plates in it, yeah, it depends on how much he knows about bulletproof vests, right? I don't know shit about bulletproof vests. So I'm gonna assume my character doesn't know shit about bulletproof vests. Parked in the middle of the road ahead of you is a bizarre-looking vehicle. Sorry, what page is this? Forty-nine. Sorry. It's two cars welded together. They can drive in either direction. Uh, it looks like a pickup truck, which has been converted to resemble a Roman chariot. It even has sides attached to its wheels. A huge, bare-chested man wearing a gladiatorial helmet, which covers his face, is standing at the back of the truck, holding on to a double-barreled machine gun. He signals to his driver to drive forward into battle. You have no chance but to fight this New Age gladiator. Well, considering they're heathens, yeah. he God just, just goes... And it's like, well, fuck, they explode. <laughs> He's just been, like, sitting in the middle of the road. Waiting for someone to come at him, I guess. Yeah. Actually, God fucking snaps his fingers. Chariot actually disappears. Oh. Driver and gun-wielding man on the back grind into the ground <laughs> and stop just five feet short of your car and then explode. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got one of those sweet, like, gladiator helmets with the, like, full face. Yeah. Yeah, remember, it's been six months since the apocalypse, and fucking the world has just gone to complete fucking shit. Real fast, too. Everyone Real was, quick. Everyone was waiting for this chance. That's why I keep thinking it's in the United States, because there's a lot of people in the States who are like, just let me use them, just please let me use them, just give me a chance. Yeah, waiting for their opportunity. Like, Finally, I got a use for that gun bunker. 91, 91, 91, 91. You press on south as quickly as possible and switch on the radio, hoping to establish contact with San Anglo. 
However, no voices are audible above the crackling static. You decide to leave it on anyway in case somebody tries to make contact with you. After driving a further 15 kilometers, you come to another junction in the road. Somebody has left a sign there which reads, Engine and Body Repairs in Crude Writing. It shows an, or it shows an arrow pointing east. If you wish to turn left and head east, turn to 230. If you'd rather keep heading south, turn to 301. There's not no not a bad. trap yeah. also written yeah. below. Ain't no way this is going to end badly yeah. for us. Roadrunner food this way. <laughs> yeah. Free food and handies this way. <laughs> All right. The way to the east appears to be uh, a uh, a tunnel through the rock, but there's something about it that <laughs> gives Seems you a little problems. suspicious. <laughs> gives you sus- makes you a little suspicious. Yeah, let's head east. I want to see what they're up to. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. There's let's no get way. Let's in trouble. There's no way that this ends poorly, right? 2.30. Set back about 30 meters from the road is a small white building which is completely surrounded by cars in various stages of assembly. Wheels, doors, bumpers, axles, engines, gearboxes, and seats are strewn everywhere and, in the middle of it all, is a man working away at one car. He is busy using an oxyacetylene torch on a door panel, causing sparks to fly everywhere. He is so engrossed in his work that he doesn't hear you arrive. If you wish to talk to him about repairing the interceptor, turn to 15. If you'd rather drive on, turn to 259. We should just talk to him, I guess. Yeah. yeah I mean, technically, we haven't taken any damage, but, you know. We have. No, well, we took, like, nine points, remember? Oh, we yeah. We hit the landmine. Yeah. Oh, right, that landmine. Right. we got to get that sand out of our carburetor. Oh, yeah, that's still in there, dude. <laughs> 15. You walk over to the man and call out to him. He calmly turns off the torch and says... There's no job for be doing on the desert heat. Still, most people leave me to get on with it. Don't cause me any trouble. I don't take sides, but I'll repair anybody's vehicle. If you want me to fix your damage in your car, it'll cost you about 200 credits. All I said was hi. Yeah. If you can afford the price and wish to have your car repaired, turn to 169. If you wish to decline this offer and set off east again, turn to 259. I hand over my gold press Latin. God, Sorry, have, God have, Interact E transfers me 200 credits into my bank account. Yeah. Has, has money had been, like, credits haven't been mentioned anywhere no, before? No, no, no. Yeah. First time. It, it, in it, fact, in it's fact, at they. It's the front they, of the book, and that's the only place. Yeah. In fact, they said at, at one point you went by, like, a smashed, like. Security truck. Security truck, and you're like, haha, I guess money doesn't mean anything anymore. <laughs> mm hmm. You're like, okay, I'm going to need some money from you. What the fuck did you just say? Yeah. What do you mean you need money? It's money is just credits. Yeah. Yeah, sure, we have the money. Fuck. That's the thing about the future, right? Is It's like everything always comes down to like, oh, it's credits. And it's like, no, it isn't. It's going to be dollars or euros or something yeah. else. It's not going to be what well, we call it uh, all credits. Republic credits. Yeah, no, it's not going to do that. The man works for an hour welding on, at one, on, welding on extra steel panels and patching up holes where he can. The interceptor looks in a very sorry state, but at least it's better protected. Add 10 armor points. Shit, yeah. You thank the man for his work, pay him, and set off east again. Could you fix my engine? Engine. Engine. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can weld some armor plating to your carburetor. It's like... Yeah, sure, just make it heavier. Fuck. I don't need to go 190 kilometers. Really? Like, yeah. I mean, do I need to go 190? <laughs> no. No. Okay. <laughs> 259. Ahead in the distance looms a range of hills. As you arrive at the foot of the hills, you see that the road passes under them via a tunnel. Unfortunately, there is a bus blocking the entrance. There's always something yeah. in the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of a lot of vehicles had just like just enough uh, gas in them to move in front of the <laughs> to like to block block things, but then they ran out. Yeah. 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 Okay. <coughs> You stop the car and walk up to the bus to see whether or not it can be started and moved out of the way. The driver's Ooh. door suddenly opens and a masked man jumps down on the road, pointing a gun at you. They'll He's pass- dressed like a jester. <laughs> like, yeah. To pass through the tunnel, you must pay me a toll of 200 credits. Or engage me in a pistol duel. <laughs> <laughs> well, God. Uh, yeah, i John Wick this shit. He says in a very matter-of-fact tone, if you wish to pay the toll, turn to 369. If you're fancy, your chances at a pistol duel turn to 291. Oh, 291, because maybe he'll cheat. That'll be even funnier. It's like a straight-up, like, Little John Robin Hood thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 291. Yeah, we're going 291. Is it? I hope there's a picture. Yes, there is. Yeah. 
It's me. Yeah, it's perfect. time for pistol <laughs> the duel. The masked man. <laughs> oh, because people... Wait, it's it, Ellen. <laughs> Holy shit, it is Ellen. She's like, we live in a society. <laughs> is he afraid that people will find out his identity and the cops will come for him? I like, guess. why the mask? Yeah. Yeah, I look hard. Doesn't want to end up on the news, Paul. See, wow, he actually is showing, like, I have dueling pistols. <laughs> yeah, he has a box. This is really good. I've been waiting to fire these. Yeah. Ah, I have a gun just yeah. for this occasion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. You pull out your nine and just fucking obliterate them. <laughs> you stab him in the face with a throwing knife. <laughs> the masked man reaches into the cabin of the bus and brings out a mahogany box. Inside are two magnificent pistols. He places one bullet in each hand and says, Choose your weapon! You pick up one pistol and balance it in your hand to get a feel for its weight. You both then stand back to, or back, to back, and the man tells you to walk ten paces, turn, and fire when you're ready. We're doing this for no one's benefit. Yeah, I was just saying, just I, two of us out here. A duel doesn't work if there's no, like, second or whatever, yeah. right? Like, it's like, what? But just wait till he turns his back, and then you turn around and shoot, shoot him in the him, back. Yeah! yeah. I just do this. Bang. <laughs> you know? I just do that one. Fucking. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely bang. Oh, oh you hit the spine or something. You're just sitting there, like, clutching at it. Oh. You breathe in deeply and count out loud for 10 paces walked. You then turn and see the masked man with his pistol pointed straight at you. Both of you fire at once. Carry out one attack round using the shooting rules. If you survive the duel, turn to 208. All right, I'll roll for him. You roll for you roll for us, I guess. Yeah, well, I gotta roll it's only two. one it's round. Two. It's All only right. one roll. So he has a skill of nine. So we're actually. Oh, you know, we're just trying to beat that. It's, a, it's just I, I'm really. We win. No, well, I'm. I you said I'm rolling for him. Right. Okay. So I rolled an 18. Ah. Good luck. I, yeah, I can beat this. We win. <laughs> yeah, we win. Fuck. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. That's incredible. That's just the fucking weirdest thing. How did I double six? Yeah. How did you double six? Mm -hmm. God winks at you. It's true. You got plus one skill because you're bulletproof vest. Right. We're going to 10 skill. That's right. We have the bulletproof vest, brother. Uh, if you survive the duel, turn to 2-8. We don't even win. We just survive. I guess, yeah. Win if you can. <laughs> survive if I let you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure wearing a bulletproof vest in a duel is, like, not considered. <laughs> not very sporting. <laughs> not yeah. very sporting, no, yeah. Like, God, no one respects dueling anymore. <laughs> Hark. That would be funny, though, if it's like, oh, you get shot, so you lose. And it's like, were you wearing a bulletproof vest? Well, then go back to this space. So, yeah. yeah. Taz, the duelist. The man tells you that it has been an honor fighting you in such a civilized manner. He goes on to say that after the road has passed through, or after the road has passed through the tunnel, it then winds through a twisting canyon, and you should be on the lookout for landslides. <laughs> I've been afraid of changes. Are we even still on the way? Like we 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 took a detour. Are yeah, we? we're. I don't know where we are. Okay, beach. cool. Yeah, let's keep rolling. I'm um, like, oh. I just yeah. Why to get to like at some point? At some point, it's just like. You have been driving in the wrong direction for the last five days. You're, yeah. you're never going to make it there. Yeah, but so now you're in Florida. We shot is... this man. He's like, make sure to look out for landslides. Okay. So the idea here. Anything else? You Thank could you have for actually. an old man one last reprieve. <laughs> so you could have actually lost that, and it's like, it's okay. Like, as long as you survive. Yeah. yeah, it says as long as you survive. You don't actually have to win. It's just so like, you, like... Sh you shoot each other. You just like shoot each other and then go on your with your day. Yeah, he like, like pulls out a gun, shoots you, and you're like leg, like, oh, he got shot in the stomach or yeah, something. You're like, yeah. oh. he's like, make sure you watch out for landslides on the way through the tunnel. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> he looks at his guns. He's like, I don't have any more bullets. Who am I going to fight now? <laughs> he's like, I only had one. <laughs> to make more you f you thank the strange man for his advice and drive into the tunnel once he has reserved reversed the bus out of the way sure enough you find yourself driving along the winding road through the canyon what the fuck so just he happened? moved the bus <laughs> yeah did you both just fire into the air like that was fun <laughs> holy shit dude is he is he maybe like maybe he's immortal yeah maybe he's like a vampire like, well, we shot him, and then we're like, oh, uh, can you move the bus? I don't know yeah, how to I work can, a bus. Yeah. I can move the bus. Just give me a second. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, I'm kind of in a hurry. So yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I got it. Like, he melts like, me into the driver's <laughs> seat. 
I got to get better at dueling if I'm going to do yeah. It's like, this is the fourth duel I've lost today. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't move the bus back after I have to move it. You know? Oh, fuck. <sighs> uh, 196. Heeding the man's advice, you keep a wary eye out for falling rocks and drive through the canyon very slowly. Suddenly you hear an ominous rumbling sound ahead. We're only you doing 110. You steer around a sharp bend and see a landslide in progress with Ooh. rocks and boulders crushing or crashing down onto the road. Exciting. It soon stops and you are unable, you are not, or, or, and you are able to continue as the road is not completely blocked. Why the fuck did you tell us that? It like got us all nervous for no reason. <laughs> I guess maybe, maybe if you had like bypassed that like you hadn't fought that guy, you wouldn't have been on the lookout and uh, that would have hit you or something? Alrighty. Holy shit. Whew. Turn to 351. <laughs> Paul? Wait, 351, 351 or 251? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought it was 251. No, 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 no. Hey, uh, we meet a mysterious stranger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the weird thing is, this guy is in like full straight direct sunlight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just and, what his face looks like. And he looks like he, he looks like he's in some sort of like, um, like he, <laughs> the car just seems very like I'm in a 1987 Audi. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. The road eventually leads out of the canyon, continuing straight on as far as the eye can see. Mm. You check your compass. <laughs> map. We had a map. We didn't find the chest with the compass yet. Jesus Christ. You're driving, and you're like, I'm fucking... Okay, yeah, 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 this is good. All that, all that just steel in your car is just throwing the compass needle off. When did we get a compass? I don't know, like a pot arm? And see that you're traveling south once again. However, you only have driven for a few kilometers when you were forced to stop by a blockade of two cars parked across the road. Just it, drive it, around. It. Just go around yeah. it. Blockade of two cars, yeah. The just, really long cars. Yeah. David Schwimmer beckons you over. <laughs> just David Schwimmer. <laughs> I was actually an archaeologist. <laughs> Uh, two armed men in leather uniforms approach you on foot and tell you that the only way you will be allowed to drive any further south is to win a speed race along the straight road yes. against their ace driver. If you lose the race, you will be forced to turn back. Suddenly, a car draws up alongside the interceptor. You recognize the classic car of last century immediately. It is an E-type Jaguar. Oh my god. All right, <laughs> fine. He probably doesn't have a ton of metal welded to it either. Sitting in the driver's seat is a thin man with short black hair. He looks very self-assured and says, Hi, my name's Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> I live to race. <laughs> he, he lives his life a quarter mile at a time. Fuck me, God, dude. I hope he's flirting with us. I hope so, too. Yeah. Oh, it's not even Leonard, it's Lenardi. Oh, is it? Hi, my name is Lenardi. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I love how an I at the end of his name completely changed his personality. Yeah. yeah. I, I used to play ball for the Mets. <laughs> <laughs> find us, find us the only Lenardi who ever played professional baseball. What a well, fucking thing to bring up. Let's go, the baby. Let's go, the Mets. <laughs> Love, Love the, the Mets. Mets. Love the <laughs> Mets. Fuck. It's all about the Mets, baby. <laughs> I love the Mets. I used to play ball for the Mets, but now I race cars. Yeah. Too some... bad you are driving that old trash can, but good luck in it. It's turning Eastern European. <laughs> Fuck, he's just, I, my name. I used to play ball for the Mets. But uh, good luck anyway. The two cars blocking the road are moved aside, and you see several more cars beyond them lining the road. 
A man appears with a flag ready to start the race. He lowers it sharply and the race begins while you are still trying to grasp what is happening. I have to, I have didn't, to We say, didn't agree to anything. No. We didn't say yes. You have to have a race if you want to get through here. Man, also, I'm just, I am a little bit concerned. It's like if we get up to 190 clicks, right? And yeah. we get to the end of the of the race. Yeah. Just keep going. Yeah, what are they going to do? Fucking, fuck. I uh, used to play ball for the Mets. <laughs> fuck. Okay. That might be one of the funniest things I've ever read in my entire life. There have been uh, several baseball <laughs> baseball players with the name Lenardi. Ooh, okay. Did any of them play ball for the Mets? I do not think so. All right. Well, maybe he got traded. Also, the also, although the, the Mets are also not an Australian team, no, so. No. <laughs> what are you doing all the way here? Like, you mean this is in New York? <laughs> No one does vaguely super European like me. Yeah, it's the only of, thing I got. I got up in my car and fell unconscious, and I woke up in Australia. Yeah. The E-Type screeches away slightly ahead of you. If you've had a supercharger fitted into your engine, turn to 210. If you have not had one fitted, turn to 358. Neat. Yeah, I've got a supercharger. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we got it. 210. Yeah. God is my co-pilot. God is and my, my supercharger. Yeah. 210 is roll one die alternatively. Al- alternately, Ooh. once for the E type and once for the interceptor, adding one to the number rolled for the interceptor because of the supercharger. Continue rolling until one car reaches a total of 24 to cross the finish line first. If you win, turn to 54. If you lose, turn to 322. All right. So I'm, I'll be fucking Lenardi. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I used to play ball for the, the mess, mess, but now I race cars. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So you got a five? You have a five. supercharger. Yeah. Okay. I also got a five. All right. Close race. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. I got a five, five. again. It's ten. I got a two. Okay. Two? Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Twelve for me. Twelve, eight. Come on, Lenardi. Do this one for the fucking, what is it, the skipper? The fucking gaffer? Gip, gipper. The gipper? Yeah. Fuck, do it for the gipper. So six and 12, 18. Fuck. Nine, 18. Oh, I'm losing this one. Oh, Jesus. Six. Six, and that's uh, 24. Five. Oh, yeah, that's 20. Fucking room. We, oh, you want it fucking yeah. fair and square. Yep. Six ton Dodge Interceptor. <laughs> Beats their fucking E type Jaguar into the ground. Supercharged V4. <laughs> Driven by fucking a retired baseball player mm-hmm. and only had to retire because a virus wiped out everything. Yeah, I, I imagine baseball playing is not like a super valuable commodity in the current world. Yeah, it's too bad. I mean, you know, but people need entertainment. <laughs> Lenardi's my guy. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's my guy, dude. He's your guy. That's my guy. Like, uh, if you win, turn to 54. I want to actually just, I want to take a peek to see what happens if we lose when we lose oh like, sure yeah, yeah i just yeah, want to yeah. see if it's like game over they pull you out of the car and eat you oh yeah he just like so basically lenardi wins and then they're like do you want to stop because there's like a bunch of people cheering like yay lenardi wins and then you or you can drive off nice <laughs> that's really funny if you win turn to 54 okay okay Make a fucking run for it. I'm out of here, dude. <laughs> you do not stop to celebrate your victory in case Lenardi is a bad loser. <laughs> so we just drive off regardless. He does not try to follow you and gradually fades away from view behind you. You pass an articulated truck which looks as if it has only recently been parked. Okay. If you wish to stop, what does articulated truck mean in this uh, reference? It'll have, it'll have a bend in the middle, I think. Uh, like, you know those buses that are like two buses shoved together? Those are articulated, so um, that's what it means. Yeah, this might be a this might be a, a big truck. Yeah, a big semi truck that maybe has uh, multiple trailers. I, I mean, he was so. a Met. Yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah. I don't know anything about baseball or baseball fans. They are the Mets have not the Mets always do really well, and then they don't. Oh, like regular season. There are regular season heroes, and then the playoffs come around. Uh, I mean, terrible. the Mets recently was doing pretty good, but they they kind of fell off towards the end of the yeah. season, if I remember. My only constant source, in, or my only constant in sports, is I know that any team from fucking Boston is dog shit, and they should never win anything. Ah. <laughs> oh God, guys! If this is an Aussie road train, that would kick ass. A road train is uh, like is multiple trailers, yeah. like not just two, but like ten. 
20 on a single cab. So you have this long, long, just, it, it's just a truck that's pulling so many trailers. And it fills up the whole road. Okay. It's real cool. Um, if you wish to stop and examine the truck, turn to 104. If you would rather drive on without stopping, turn 118. Well, I mean, it's never been bad to examine things, so yeah, we're going to 104. Yeah, we should look at stuff. I want to go look at it. Let's see what's going on here. There's nothing of use inside the cabin, and its wagon is empty. You automatically tap the petrol tank to see if there's any fuel left in it, and are surprised to discover that there is. The tank is made of reinforced steel, and you wonder how you can extract the petrol. Through a hole? If you have a length of plastic tubing, turn to 306. If you do not have any plastic tubing, turn to 187. Oh, no. I'll have to get that length of plastic tubing that I stored in the back of the car. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely have the plastic tubing, don't you worry. The truck is diesel, though. Like, that's yeah. the thing. You know, when you said, oh, I can take some petrol, it's like, no, you can't, because those trucks are diesel. That's a that's a problem for fucking somebody that gives a fuck. Yeah, octane is not cetane, so, mm-hmm. Uh, I've ne you know what I've never done? I've never siphoned anything. Really? Yeah, oh. never in my life. I've siphoned a lot, actually. Yeah? Yeah, but not gasoline. <laughs> like a juice box? <laughs> no. <laughs> you talking? Technically true, I guess. No, my waterbed. When I move from place to place, I have to pack up my water bed. So uh, you have to suck all the water out of it. Oh, yeah. how gross is it? It's not bad. Like it's, it's, it's just stale water. It's right? stale water, right? So you basically. I guess you're not sleeping in the water. Right, you're sleeping on top of yeah. it, and so yeah. Beach sleeps in a rejuvenation pool. I have to, I have to suck it through a garden hose. Yeah. Uh, which of course is because you're not next to a bathroom, so I have a garden hose usually going all the way to the bathroom. So I have to like get about, I have to suck this water about 15 feet or mm. you know, however many meters. It, it's like, I guess, like five meters. It's hard to do. It's hard to suck anything through a garden hose, let alone a golf ball. Yeah. So it's, but, but then I learned from somebody like, oh, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to run water into the hose all the mm -hmm. way to the other end. So there's, it's primed. And then when you suck from the other end and you, and you pull it and you pull it down so it's lower, then the siphon starts. I got very good at it after a while. I just always picture like when you siphon gasoline, you definitely get some in your mouth, right? Yeah, absolutely. Ugh. And so in this case, it's like I have to suck the end of the thing, and then it's like water in my mouth. But then you, you know, you get the you get the thing Ugh. going. It, you know, but but if you fill up the hose with like fresh water, all you're doing is sucking that, the fresh water into your mouth. Hmm. This was in the in the Simpsons where uh, uh, Principal Skinner gives Otto like a. A length of teeth, like like length of tube and a breath of it for like yeah. we need to fill up the uh the school bus go <laughs> yeah. and he's he's siphoning it, he's like, Oh man, I shouldn't have had the breath mint first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so satisfying though, because like there's so many liters of water in a in a water bed. And so when you watch it, like, over the course of, like, a couple hours just drain completely, you're like, man, I just, I let science do that. <laughs> Feels good. I, I fucking slept on that. Mm-hmm. Now it's gone. Now it's gone. Yeah. Uh, you place an empty petrol canister under the truck's petrol tank and connect them with the plastic tubing. You suck the tube to start the petrol flowing. You siphon out all the tank's petrol, nearly filling your canister. Add the one luck point. You place the fuel inside the interceptor and continue the drive south. Car just burns everything. Whatever. This, yeah. Put kerosene in the fucking. One eighteen. Get open up some of those unlimited bullets that we have, mm -hmm. and just empty the gunpowder into the tank, and just pour water in there to mix it around a bit. That it'll it'll burn that. That'll work, right? Yeah. Stuff that explodes. It's all you need. One eighteen. The miles slip by, and your petrol gauge once again road reads almost empty. Wait, <laughs> we just filled it up. Yep. Yep. No, no, well, no, you filled up the uh, your can your gas can. Oh, oh, okay, fair. If you have filled your petrol canister recently, turn it ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We just I, So they give us the gas and then the next decision like, yeah, you don't get that gas anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the most dog shit game design I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm guessing this must have been like this also leads from somewhere else. Like it has to be the only explanation. Yeah, I, I mean like this is the one that just will lead from multiple things, but it's yeah. funny that they chose yeah. like, yeah, okay, so they siphon the gas because they have the tubing that they found somewhere. So yeah. we should reward the player by letting them keep it and have that safety blanket. No, 
I'm going to take that away from immediately you. Immediately drain right it. Right away. Yeah. So not only did you lose the tubing, which you can't use for anything else, and now you lose the gas. <laughs> so I, didn't, I don't know whether... Yeah. I don't know if they've done it for this one, but I know people have made, like, flow charts for other fighting fantasy-type books. Oh, where so you just, can see the... So you can see all the connections and stuff, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. all the different ways you could get to, you know, this particular thing or whatever. Yeah. So I guess we would have probably ended up here without any fuel if we didn't bother to siphon it from the truck in the first place. So, so we'll turn 99... You stop, your, stop the car and empty the fuel canister into the petrol tank. You see that the interceptor is looking somewhat the worse for wear and wonder if it will last the trip. If you wish to carry out some instant repairs, turn to 21. If you'd rather drive off immediately, turn to 221. That seems like the next thing we do is going to make the car explode. Yeah, let's try it. I, 21. I mean, you're, I, it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, it is, but the game doesn't... I mean, you do have, like, big... Chunks of metal welded to the side. I do love the instant repairs, though. You're right. Do you want to do some instant repairs? Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You do what you can to repair the car. It takes you about a half an hour to clean the spark plugs. <laughs> Holy shit, our character's a moron. <gasps> wow! <laughs> We're a fucking idiot. We're a fucking idiot. A half an hour? How many spark plugs are there? Not that many. There's only four in There's this car. There's four! Right? Yeah. <laughs> Takes us a half an hour? I mean, you had to open the hood, which is now incredibly heavy because of the, so you need like a lever to open the hood. Yeah. And then you gotta get, you, you gotta get out your tool kit and you gotta like, you gotta unhook all the things and, you, and probably have to take the cover off the engine and then get down in there and the last one's always buried behind some shit. Maybe so a half an hour is that. fucking lightning fast. Yeah. Maybe I'm underestimating. Yeah, I think, I think there's a lot you have to, have to do there. You have to recap them probably. Oh, there's more here. Sorry, there was a comma. Oh. You didn't just clean the spark plugs. Oh, really? Okay. So, takes you about a half an hour to clean the spark plugs, check the oil, tune the carburetor, and make sure that nothing vital is damaged. Okay, that, that seems that's... fucking lightning fast. Yeah. Are you we would... even looking at anything? No. You're just like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks good. Yeah. It's like, did you act like your dad comes in? Like, did you actually do anything like yeah i fucking check so it I got, if i double check my hands they right? do that thing where like if i double check is it all going to be cool and you're like <gasps> maybe i'll go back and yeah just one <laughs> yeah, more time I'll yeah go over it again this is a brand new you know 2022 dodge interceptor <laughs> you find that three wheel nuts are loose on one of the back tires and screw them up tight again add two armor points wow satisfy that everything as well as can be expected you head off south again turn to 21 I'm glad that it wasn't like, but you can't, you don't have a tire iron that fits those lug nuts. And that's why they call me the crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. 221. 221. I wonder if we can beat this in half an hour. Yeah, sure. Why not? We got, we got a fucking. I'm game. We're just going to try. I think we can do it. Because you know this ending is going to be dog shit. <laughs> it's going to be like one line. Oh, like, you make a, it to New Hope. This is a big one. All right. This lady's at the center of the whole problem. That? That's probably blood on the wall. It looks like a vagina. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the I road, would definitely said the same thing. The road cuts a straight black line through the nightmare red landscape. The desert heat rises from the sand in shimmering waves, and your air conditioner rattles in its noisy struggle to keep you cool. The radio picks up nothing but static and crackles away monotonously. You keep the accelerator pressed to the floor as you speed through the badlands. Ahead in the distance, you see black smoke curling up into the air. You slow down and brake alongside a burning car. It's an old sports car from the last century, a Corvette with its uh, 200 brake or 200 brake horsepower V8 engine. So a 1955 Corvette. <laughs> Those are rare. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The old 1955 Corvettes, huh? Yeah. A beast of the past abruptly ending its life in a ball of fire. Nobody fucking talks about a car like that. Oh, I would not have taken that car out of anywhere. <laughs> Leaning casually against a boulder away from the burning wreck is a blonde woman wearing black overalls and holding a shotgun. When she sees the interceptor approach, she runs out into the road to wave you down. You stop in front of her, your hand reaching for your revolver in case she tries to hijack the interceptor. You ask her where she's going, and in a stern voice, she replies, South, as far as you are concerned. I just want a lift. Unless you are also belong to that wild gang of road warriors who attacked me. <laughs> you tell her that you're on a mission to San Anglo and offer her a ride. Yes. San Anglo, she yells. You must be the person we have been expecting from New Hope. Let's go. Hmm. Maybe she knows where, where the place actually is. 
She jumps in the car and introduces herself as Amber. She, I also used to play, play for, for the Mets. Mets. <laughs> Uh, she jumps and herself as Amber. She says that a message went out to all patrol vehicles to be on the lookout for the interceptor, but she had to make sure that you were who you said you were. Because your car looks real weird now with all the extra armor yeah. plating. Yeah. She also tells you that there is a complication. For the last two days, San Anglo has been under constant attack from a large gang of road warriors known as the Doom Dogs. And you're like, I haven't slept in two days, so this will be great. <laughs> we haven't, <it>, yeah. <laughs> Uh, led by a man they call the Animal. It was the Doom Dogs who attacked her less than an hour ago. Great. They are determined to massacre the inhabitants of San Anglo to have access to the reserves of petrol. It is now virtually impossible to leave or enter San Anglo without being attacked by the heavily armed cars and motorbikes. Mm. There is only one solution. To break into their camp at night and sabotage their vehicles. Oh, shit, I was going to say rockets? Is it rockets? <laughs> rockets is the answer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anthrax? Can we but, just fucking dust their, I don't know, something? Like, but yeah, the, the oil oh, refinery that's perfect. being what? attacked by... Uh, the 1982 Chevy Corvette 5.7 liter V8 has 200 horsepower in it. And you're like, wow, 1982 was like that shitty? It's like, yeah, because that was the that was the oil crisis. Mm. So they had like... They had to restrict the engines in some way. Yeah. Yeah. But the, uh, uh, yeah, like an oil refinery that's been... Uh, no, Doom, D-O-O-M. That, that's been um, reinforced and people are living there and trying to get the like gasoline out and being besieged by a big game. Like that is the plot of Mad Max. The, original Ma like yeah. the original Mad Max, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, there's only one solution to sabotage the vehicles. The look of determination in Amber's eyes convinces you that there is no alternative and you agree to help her. She oh, no, Mad Max too, right? She yeah. slaps the dashboard. It fits so many plans in this <laughs> fucking interceptor. <laughs> uh, slaps the dashboard in eager incitement and tells you to drive south as quickly as possible. Half an hour later, Amber tells you to stop. In the distance, you can see smoke rising into the air. San Sandanglo refinery! <laughs> She says in a proud voice, We'd rather die than let the vermin steal the patrol petrol from us. Good for her. Turn left off the road. It will be dark in an hour and we will have to leave the car and walk to the Doom Dog's camp. <laughs> Test your luck. If you're lucky, turn seven. If you're unlucky, turn three, three, one. We're lucky. I'm just, we're winning. Absolutely. Yeah, say winning king. Turn to seven. Bop, 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 bop. This book came out four years after Mad Max 2. Was Mad Max 2 beyond Thunderdome? No, that was three. Mad Max 2 is the one where the with the oil refinery where they're protecting it. And all that Road, the Road Warrior was the first, first Mad one. Max movie, yeah. 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 Mad Max 2. Did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. never mind. Amber urges you to turn off the road and head east across the stony desert ground. She lets you drive on until the interceptor cannot be seen from the road. Then she tells you to stop and wait until it gets dark. We need to be alert for our read tonight. So I've brought along something to keep us going. Oh. She says happily, reaching into her pocket. Test your luck. If you're lucky, if you're lucky it's food. If you're unlucky, it's a gun. <laughs> the Road Warrior was the second movie. Yeah. Mad Max was the first movie. I always get those backwards. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Yeah, we're definitely lucky. 319. I love being lucky. 319. Because it's like, it's like Rambo First Blood Part 2, right? It's like First Blood was the movie that Rambo first showed up in. But then the second movie is called Rambo, colon, First Blood Part 2. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. This is the most... Amber hands you some glucose tablets and energy synthopills. Add four stamina points. Adds you some Soylent. <laughs> what? Soylent Green is people! Yeah. I'm kind of curious. To what, what, it's like if you're not lucky, then she's just like... What happens? Here's a Red Bull, I guess. <laughs> she gives you some peanut butter. You're allergic. You fucking, you hyperventilate. So according to chat, nobody knows what order the Mad Max movies were made or released in. Oh. Yeah, because everyone disagrees, and therefore those movies never came out at the same time, but they all came out. Love a good disagreement. Mm. Good. All right, uh, turn to 32. <laughs> yeah, it would be great if she was like, Amber hands you a Monster Energy drink, and you'd be like, thank Christ, I haven't slept in three days. Yeah. <laughs> What are we going to do now? We're How do you feel about doing a key bump? <laughs> <laughs> Just to get the things going before yeah. a fight, you know? We used to do it all the time when we played for the Mets. <laughs> yeah. okay. 
you know, I had a, I had a teammate named Leonardi. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you guys sound similar. It's back yeah. in cocaine league. Yeah. <laughs> You pack all your equipment into two backpacks and set off towards the Doom Dogs camp. There is a full moon and it is not too difficult to make your way across the desert. Guided by your compass, you head steadily east. After an hour, you see the glow of a fire in the distance on high ground. Amber explains in a whisper that the Doom Dogs live in tents on top of a low, flat hill where their cars are parked. When you reach the hill, you find that the slope is very gentle and you are soon at the top. You lie down and survey the movements inside the camp. A group of people are sitting around the campfire, drinking and laughing. Two men are walking slowly around the edge of the camp on guard duty, each armed with a rifle. You decide to crawl around the side of the hill to the barbed wire fence, put your plan into action. Wow, they have quite the camp. Yeah. You hear one of the guards above you close by and press yourself against the side of the hill to avoid being seen. Amber inadvertently kicks a stone which rolls down the hill a few meters. The sound it makes is very loud in the quiet of the desert night. Mm. Test your luck. If you're lucky, turn to semi. Oh, I'm definitely lucky. We're just gaming. Oh, yeah. Is it grenade time? We still got that nade in <laughs> our pocket. We do pockets, have a grenade. Yeah. Granada, it's in our pocket. Yeah, we never took it out of the pocket. Fuck, I fell in my keys, guys. Is, is that a grenade in your pocket? Or... <laughs> Yeah, actually. Eat corned beef. <laughs> 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 like... Shit. Wrong, wrong pocket. Oh, no. <clears throat> the guard does not pay any attention to the noise of the rolling stone. Yeah, because fuck Mick Jagger. Yeah. Being distracted by the jokes that his friends are telling around the fire. He walks on by, and you are able to crawl up to the fence. Turn to 198. I like that our plan is, okay, so these guys are all out of their cars. They're getting drunk and having a good time around the fire. What we should do is... We should crawl up and engage them in hand-to-hand -hand combat and not hit them with the fucking car <laughs> with the missiles and their machine guns. Yeah, why don't we just drive up and shoot the camp with a missile? Yeah. Like, what are they going to do? If, also, if I commissioned uh, art for this book and this is what I got back, it's like, <laughs> what is this? You just, just, just get, like, cut up from some architecture. Like, this yeah! could be literally any little, like, picture of a town oh, or a house or something if like, i got if this showed up on my desk on a monday morning yeah. i would be pissed it's like did you just were you just doing like an architectural what, study yeah. like what is post-apocalyptic about i guess the windows broken oh yeah fair yeah <laughs> yeah uh I said 198 right pretty sure i said 198 yeah okay <clears throat> You reach the barbed wire fence and see eight vehicles inside the perimeter. The cold wire is too finely meshed for you to be able to squeeze through without becoming entangled. If you possess a pair of wire cutters, turn to 85. If you do not, oh yeah, we definitely got wire cutters. Yeah, we have, a, we have a toolkit in the car. Yeah. Toolkits come with wire cutters. Yeah, we got a letterman. <laughs> Fucking... Art. So this is, I guess this is one of these things like if you hadn't collected a bunch of stuff, then you would you be lose. screwed right now. Yeah. yeah. This feels like it's like the final encounter kind of deal, right? Hope so. You quickly snip through the wire and crawl into the compound. Amber moves from vehicle to vehicle, attaching small limpet mines to their engine backs or blocks. I want to fucking die. <laughs> Keep going. When she has finished activating them, she signals for you to leave. You crawl down the side of the hill and stand up to run when you feel you are out of sight. The explosions suddenly start, and you count seven in all. She pulls out her spy mines. One of the mines must have had the faulty fuse. Amber says in a breathless voice as you run back towards the interceptor. You hear an engine start, and look behind you to see two beams of light moving away from the rising flames of the burning wrecks. The doom dogs intend to hunt down their attackers. Mm. If your current stamina is 10 or greater, turn to 107. If your current stamina is less than 10, turn to 326. Uh, What's your current stamina? 34. Great. 107. I'm kind of disappointed in that. I, I was hoping we could do one of those things where, like, we, like, tie the, uh, tie, like, the rear axle to something, and then they drive off, and they'll, they're, they're, yes, <laughs> the yeah. wheels come up, which totally doesn't work at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you run like the wind, glancing several times over your shoulder to watch the vehicle circling the hill, trying to pick up your tracks. You are less than 200 meters from the interceptor when your tracks are spotted and the vehicle turns to give chase. An angry voice booms out over the desert through a loudspeaker shouting, Stop! There is no escape from the animal! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
These guys are Australian. Eh? No, yeah. this, uh, uh, New Zealand. <laughs> That's the best I can do. Okay, you gotta <laughs> fuck both of oh. you. Okay, fuck. I'm trying. You I'm trying what? to. I'm trying to screw with chat, not you. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Oh man, chat brings up a good point. Uh, it would have been way better just to sneak in and put potatoes in the exhaust pipes. Oh, you're right. The cars. <laughs> There's now escape in the crowbar. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> play the didgeridoo. The message is repeated over and over again as the vehicle closes. No one escapes from the animal. It's just a, it's just a recording. Yeah. Yeah. It's got it on repeat. The on welcome CD. sight of the interceptor appears before you, and you both jump inside just as your pursuers come into view. Turn to 158. Are we going to have a vehicle battle? Probably. All right. You start up your interceptor and turn to face your attackers. Your headlights illuminate a customized station wagon. Ute. Which is... The fucking you. It's a you. It's a you, mate. No, here to fuck spiders. Your headlights illuminate a customized station wagon, which is thick sheets of plate steel riveted to its body and a pointed ramming bar protruding from its front grille. That's cute. Machine gun nozzles housed on either side of the ram bar suddenly open fire. This is written by a child. Yeah. Uh, you are too close to the station wagon to be able to launch a rocket, even if you have one left. It must return fire with your own machine guns. So are we just like standing there and we're just shooting at each other with machine? Like we're not moving. Yeah, he's not moving. We're, we're not, not moving. moving. I love this like, idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I die or you die. Yeah. Like, that's it. Wouldn't exciting, but you know we have unlimited bullets. So yeah. and you're not even. So yeah, you don't even have to beat him. You have to if you survive three yeah. rounds. Yep, that's good. Oh, good thing we survived. Mm-hmm. So God. Well, um, we have thirty. Our car has. I mean, we're not supposed to go no past the initial value, but our car True. technically has 42 hit points. Uh, and you can only do losing three rounds. Max, you can lose is 18, right? Because uh, it does 6, yeah, 6, yeah, 6. Yeah. So there's no way we could lose this. I combo. mean, firepower 10, armor 8, 19 is pretty nasty. But. So God just, like, lowers his hand from the thing. He picks their car up, and he folds it in half, and he folds it in half again. And he folds it nine times, which is impossible. You can't yeah. fold anything more than eight times. And then he Wait, just really? drops it on the ground. Well, try to fold a piece of paper. Uh, we don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that before. Yeah, Yeah, fucking try it, you fucking dumbass. That's the way you said that. Try it. Fucking try it. You can try it. It's interesting. I didn't call it. You said it like I called you a liar. (laughs) No, it's like we're gonna learn some topology. This will be fun. You fucking try it. Use your paper, you fucking idiot. (laughs) Fucking fold it, dumbass. We have plenty of time. We have fifteen minutes. Mythbusters is TV. It's not science. Like two jousting knights on horseback. Oh, okay. The two vehicles sweep by each other with their machine guns blazing. After each pass, you turn sharply and charge at each other again. But suddenly, the station wagon swerves to ram the interceptor. You turn the steering wheel to take the interceptor out of the path of the station wagon. Roll two dice. If the total is same or less than your skill, yeah, yeah. Same or less, 200. Sure. 200. You manage to avoid a head-on collision, but are rammed in the side by the station wagon. Oh, boo. Its pointed ram bar pierces the interceptor's reinforced panel, locking the two vehicles together. Oh. The station wagon's loudspeaker immediately sparks out a message from the animal. Fight him in hand-to-hand combat or shoot it out. If you wish to fight the animal, turn to 269. If you wish to shoot it out, turn to 102. God, we get to see what the animal looks We've like. We've already seen what the animal looks oh, like. Oh, have we? Yeah, okay. 269, but you'll see it again. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Wait, oh, I'm, that's yeah. really? Yep, that's the animal. <laughs> mate. I'm fucking pissed, He's mate. He's just a human. I'm pissed, mate. <laughs> Got out of my, you made me get out of my fucking you. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to wrestle me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like this. He, they disconnect the two cars, yeah. lights in the thing, draw, draw a circle. It's grapple. <laughs> it's fucking grapple. <laughs> I want you to pay particular attention to my nipples. <laughs> They're like pepperonis. <laughs> you shout out that you are will you will accept the challenge to fight the animal on condition that you will be allowed to leave if you win. The animal agrees to the terms. You watch two men and two women climb out of the station wagon. They start up to, into the animal. They start to bang on the interceptor with their guns, chanting their leader's name out loud. Animal. <laughs> Animal. 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 <laughs> the station wagon's passenger door slowly opens and a huge bare-chested man steps out wearing a tight-knitted or fi- tight-fitting face mask. His clenched fists are wrapped in studded leather and you notice that knee-high boots have steel toe, or steel toe caps. 
When you step out of the car, he starts to snort like an angry bull. As you walk toward the fight, the animal, Amber shouts her encouragement at you. Fucking go, go, Jeff. <laughs> go, fuck you. You got yeah. this, Jeff. Right, come on, Jeff. There's all this fight to the death using the hand fighting rules. The animal's studded fists reduce stamina points, or stamina by two points. If you Oof. possess knuckle dusters, you also reduce stamina by two points. Otherwise, only one point, animal stamina, blah, blah, blah. If you win, yeah. turn to 35. You have to, hit, well, you have to hit him, if you don't have the knuckle dusters, you have to hit him 16 times. <laughs> He's a skull of 11. Oh, one, man. That's wow. fucked. Ugh. That is unwinnable. This would, Three, take so, this would take so long. Yeah. 355. Doom right. dogs suddenly stop their cheering when one the animal fall, fails to get up from the sand. They look at one another, obviously deciding whether or not to let you go, despite their promise. Test your luck. If you're lucky, you turn to 316. If you're unlucky... Turn to 184. All right. 316. Or you want to actually just Luck. Did it. did it. Did it. Fuck, you're good. Mm-hmm. We did, actually, because yeah. our luck went up to nine you're, somehow. You're, yeah, <laughs> it's fucking weird. In silence, the doom dogs carry the animal over to the station wagon and place him in the back. Oh. By the time the two vehicles are unlocked from each other, the sun is rising above the eastern horizon. Did we kill that man? Yeah, oh, yeah. We yeah, it was, yeah. it was to the death. Yeah. It was to the death. Right. His, like, right. five small children come out, and we're like, oh. Oh, they're so sad. <laughs> you are bathed in warm red light, and we haven't slept three nights. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We haven't slept. Yeah, we beat a man to death yeah. on the third night. <laughs> <laughs> That's biblical. And on the third night, yeah, we beat the animal to death. You are bathed in warm red light and feel suddenly optimistic about completing the mission. You drive off south, leaving the doom dogs behind. Turn to ninety. Oh, we're so close. We gotta be. We gotta be. You end up at Joe's garage. What the fuck are we doing here? Yeah. Amber becomes increasingly excited as you cross the desert and see the welcome sight of the San Anglo refinery burning in the distance. When you get close, she opens the door and waves to the guards in the wall. The steel entrance doors are opened and you're allowed to drive inside. You're greeted enthusiastically by the citizens and spend the rest of the day telling them about your adventures in the barbaric outlands. You are treated as a hero. Your wounds are tended and you are given the most comfortable cabin they have to offer. You sleep. That night, you sleep well. At one skill point and four stamina points. Yeah. In the morning, you wake to the sound of gunfire. You run outside and are told that the remnants of the Doom Dogs gain are making a final assault on the refinery. You climb the steps of the wall to see what is happening outside. A small truck is being driven straight towards the steel doors, and you see the driver jump clear just before impact. There is a loud explosion, and one of the doors is blown off its hinges. On motorbikes and in cars, the Doom Dogs drive straight for the breach. Didn't we blow up all their cars? But yeah, one? you're right. There was like one left. Yeah. yeah. I guess there were other camps. As the gang bursts through the wall, the citizens start to panic, and you realize that you will have to take command. Roll two dice. If your total is the same or is less than your scale, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 147. Right, this, is my, this is my refinery now. I won! <laughs> you shout at the citizens to fall back and take cover inside the cabins. They obey your command, and the battle commences. Suddenly, one of the Doom Dogs runs out from behind cover towards the armored petrol tanker, which has been prepared for you to drive back to New Hope. Mr. T, no. You shoot at him, but miss, and watch him open the driver's door. You have no choice but to run through the crossfire to stop him from driving the tanker away. Test your luck. Uh, 235. All right. Yeah, you can roll if you want. Purely oh, we did it. Purely Rolled ceremonial, right? Mm -hmm. It's like... It feels good, knowing that we've made it. Keeping your head as low as possible, you run across the open space without being caught in the crossfire. Crossfire, you'll get caught up in the... Just one more game. Crossfire. Uh, that takes me back. Yeah. You'll get caught up in the... That's that, that's that board game where you shoot marbles at each other's yeah. faces, yeah. I don't think it was at faces. No. Just like, it was like Hungry Hungry Hippo Hippos, but... Not really hungry, hungry hippos. By the time you reach the tanker, the doom dog has already started up the engine. You jump up and grab hold of the door handle as the man reaches for his gun. The man has a skill of six, and if your own skill is the same or greater, turn to 81. If your skill is less than six, turn to 296. Uh, we win. 81. We did it. Dude, we're so good at this game. 
Your reactions are faster than those of the Desert Raider. You fling the door open and pull him out of the driver's seat onto the ground. He is easily overcome, and then you order him to tell his friends to call off the attack. Ooh. He reluctantly agrees to your demand, and the shooting stops almost immediately. You keep your gun trained on your hostage while you watch the rest of the Doom Dogs retreat back into the desert. You let the captured Doom Dog follow his friends to the jeers and cheers of the inhabitants of the San Angelo Refinery. <laughs> After helping with the repairs to the entrance, you tell them that it, was, it is time for you to leave. You climb into the cabin of the tanker and wave farewell. You feel sad to the, be abandoning your faithful interceptor, but realize the importance of this mission. Two cars escort you north along the road until you reach the edge of the desert. They turn and drive back to San Anglo, leaving you alone on the highway once more. You decide to head directly north, ignoring all turnings that you come to. The day passes without incident, and you keep on driving well into the night. It's like four days. No, oh, no, we slept. We did sleep, yeah. When you are too tired to drive any further, you pull into a motel car park as there are no lights showing in the, uh, in the rooms. Okay. If you wish to keep sleep inside the cabin of the tanker, turn to 218. If you wish to go inside the motel, turn to 335. This is interesting. Okay. I kind of yeah, assumed this would be done once we got to the place. No. But. 218. I'm sleeping inside the Yeah, that the makes tanker. sense. I don't, lose the, don't want to lose the trailer. Man, if we have to get all the way back, we're not beating this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Although you sleep very lightly, waking up at the slightest sound, the night passes peacefully. At first light, you are on the road again. All is fine for an hour or so until you see in your wing, wing mirror two motorbikes approaching. Unfortunately, the petrol tanker is not armed with rear missile weapons, <laughs> but it has a swivel-mounted machine gun on the cabin roof. That doesn't help us because we have to drive. Yeah, absolutely. Is there like a... A thing we can turn and be like, oh, swivel it around. Um, as they draw near, you see that both bikers have are carrying crossbows. What the fuck are they going to do with crossbows? This is great, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they accelerate alongside the tanker, one on each side, and fire their crossbows at both front tires. You, repl you reply by firing your machine gun at the bike on your left. Roll two dice. Uh, if the total is same or as less as your skill. Did it. Damn, you're good. Mm -hmm. 52... Stay winning, King. <laughs> Damn, he's good. I hope we're on the path right now where we should have died like 38 choices Oh, yeah, ago. we should have yeah. died a long time ago. Your rapid-firing machine gun does not miss. This machine gun don't miss. Yeah. It's target, and the bike skids off the road, crashing into a tree. But the rider does not die in vain. His crossbow bolt pierces your front tire and sends the tanker into a frightening skid. Wrestling with the steering wheel, you just manage to keep control and slide to a halt. Trapped inside your cabin, you wait to see what the other biker will do next. He parks behind the tanker and shouts at you to leave the cabin. You reply in a few words, but leave him in no doubt as to what you think of his suggestion. <laughs> Fuck. How about the duel then? Yes. Winner takes all, shouts the man. Does he pull out a mahogany box? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's weird that like formal dueling has become a popular thing in the yeah. wasteland of the future. If you wish to agree to the proposal, turn to one sixty four. So yeah, sure, we'll absolutely. Duel. I haven't lost the duel yet. Beat the animal and beat that weird guy. With the bus. <laughs> the hijacker tells you to step down on the road and prepare to draw your revolver. You jump down from the cabin and face the fearsome-looking man with his crossbow pointed at the ground. He snarls loudly in order to unnerve you, but you are unperturbed by his tactics and tell him to fire whenever he's ready. His arm comes up quickly to signal the start of the duel. Roll one die and add the number of your current skill score. Roll the die again and add the number of the hijacker skill of seven. If your total is the same or is greater than that of the hijacker, turn to 132. If the total is lower, yeah, we win. Yeah, so it's greater. 132... You just beat your opponent to the draw and watch him drop to the ground as your bullet finds its mark. You climb back inside the driver's cabin and set off north. All day you drive as fast as the tanker will go, apart from a disorganized ambush attempt in the late afternoon, which you easily smash through with the armored tanker. There are no incidents on the road. It is nearly dusk when you reach the outskirts of New Hope. It's high, defended walls, a strange but welcome sight. If you were bitten by a rat on your homeward journey... <laughs> Yes, also, when we write our own book, 
put in random shit that Fuck, would never that's happen. Yeah. Funny as hell. Oh, that's good. I need to find out what happened when we got bit by the rat. Right. I gotta see. I gotta Maybe see. Maybe we Tuesday. stay at the rat motel? Yeah. yeah, I guess that's if you stay at the motel. You get bit by a dozen rats. No fucking way. You start to feel dizzy and you shiver uncontrollably. You are forced to stop, not feeling capable of driving any further. With horror, you discover swellings on your body caused by the bites of rat fleas infected with plague. You know that the plague is acutely infectious, and you realize what must be done. You abandon the tanker and set off across country to die a lone hero. You leave a note written in shaky handwriting on the seat, telling the citizens of your ill fate. A statue in your honor will be erected in the year to come, but you will never see it. Oh, man. We complete our mission. I guess. Yes, yeah, all right. Hey, what actually happened? If you escape being bitten, turn to 380. <laughs> you actually got plague. That's fucking hilarious. I do like, Ooh. actually, that this book said, like, okay, so you run into a situation where you get bit by a rat. It's like yeah. a rat bites you. And you're like, okay. And they're like, nothing happens. Yeah. You're like, cool. So then you go and you're like, you keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. You finally get to the fucking end. You can see New Hope. And you're like, were you bit by the rat? Oh, Fuck. And you die. <laughs> yeah. That's so bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. That's like in the it's like the the Hitler's Guide to Galaxy text adventure game, which is like was this notoriously horrible, well, mean text adventure that Douglas Adams actually like basically made himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a bunch of stuff where like if you didn't pick something up at the very beginning of the game, you just like, lose at the end. Yeah, you're like way, way later on you'll lose. Yeah. What? Yeah. There was a thing where it was like if you have you, you pick up tea and you put it in your pocket and then you take it out of your pocket and now your pocket says it has an item that says no tea because you don't have tea in your pocket anymore. So you can pick the tea up and put it back in your pocket and you'll have both tea and no tea in your pocket. And that's like a thing that unlocks something later. Jesus. Yep. It was deliberately obnoxious. Yeah. You drive on towards New Hope and are relieved to see the town gates open. Hundreds of citizens turn out to greet you and you are given a hero's reception. The petrol will be put to good use to help build for the future. Civilization, I'll bet in a small way, is on its on the road to recovery. If you also manage to rescue Sinclair during your adventure, consider your mission a triumph. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even like forgot about that guy. I we didn't even about Sinclair, dude. Didn't give a shit about Sinclair. He was just Sinclair. a fucking footnote on the mm, ending. Yep. You know, uh, there's but but now you're a hero and there's like no uh, town leader, so you know. Just kind of slide into that post. Oh, my God. Sinclair got... They sent me a message. The town was like, yeah, we got attacked and by a biker gang. And they took Sinclair, who is a town council yeah, member. That happened and they were really, like, yeah. yeah, if you can find him, that'd be great. If you don't, there's an opening. But, like, oh. but like a biker team, a biker group attacked the town, like, a day after you left. Yeah. Yeah. And you're driving away from the town. Like, there's no way you're going to encounter the bikers. No. Yeah, unless they end up going in the same direction you do, and you drive Faster. in, like, a weird-ass circle. But we're also going 190 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Can a motorbike go 190? Oh, sure, but it's a uh, motorbike going 190 is way faster than a truck going 190. I believe one of the weird... It's, it's, like, wait. it's a stupid-ass joke okay. from, like, the internet from some other place. Uh, yeah. Okay. I believe one of the weird uh, idiosyncratic things about fighting fantasy books is that there are always 380 uh, sections. Oh, really? And 380 is always the winning one, I think. Uh, well, that book wasn't half bad, yeah, actually. It's pretty good. Some good. I love that the guy was like, I played for the Mets. Yeah. That was definitely the best part. Mm-hmm. I can see what people are talking about being it like brutally hard, though. Like, yeah. the even like if we hadn't, especially with the. Uh, like you can feel like you're doing pretty good, and then it's just like, oh, do you did you get some gas? No, you're dead. Yeah, but uh, you know what? Sinclair's going to be fine. He's a he's a big he's boy. He's the leader of the biker gang now. He's going to take care of himself. He's flourished, yeah. you know. In exactly. His new spot. If he brings the biker <laughs> gang back to New Hope, and they all like, you know, the the end you know, of taking yeah. them normal to, members of society, yeah, yeah. take them to school <laughs> and they learn some stuff, and they teach everyone how to ride motorcycles. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're just it's like, yeah, I think this will be good for Sinclair, you know. Yeah. Get he'll get out there some. <laughs> yeah, you need a time away, right? You know, you go away, learn a new hold, come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Animal was wearing a mask. Maybe Animal was Sinclair. Oh <laughs> shit, that would be so fucking. He shot the mask. It's Sinclair. Fuck, how did Sinclair uh, get so jacked? <laughs> if only he'd said something to us where we're kicking the shit out of him. Yeah. Wait, I'm Sinclair. <laughs> <laughs> he was worried about. He was like, <laughs> 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 "Oh, 
All right, gamers. Uh, that's it out of me and BJ and Paul. Uh, but that is not the end of the subathon no. because uh, up next, I think it's Kathleen. Yep. Yeah. She's is, doing, is now doing now Kiss. Is doing now Kiss, where she is playing the Kentucky Fried Chicken official dating sim. Yeah. And Hashtag not sponsored. Mm. Well, it's it's not uh, official. It's, well, we're not we're not sponsored by uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, this yeah, game no, was no. though. Yeah. <laughs> they, you you. Uh, it is all very wholesome, apparently. Oh There's really? No actual sex scenes in it because the. KF, KFC did pay to get it made, so they're kind of like. Oh yeah, they yeah. don't want fucking. Yeah, there yeah. shouldn't be anything canon about how big the colonel's schlong is. So yeah. Uh, the colonel's not taking a shot in the mouth. No. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Well, uh, that's it on us. Uh, stay tuned for a short commercial break, and we are going to ship you over to Kathleen, and the subathon will keep going. Stick around. Yeah. Later, skaters.